Yo! Happy Wednesday, gamers. What's up? How's everybody doing? Are we ready to climb all the way to the proud land of gold today? Jose Jalapeno, thank you for the prime. And to climb to iron? I don't think that's possible. I'm pretty sure you can't climb to iron. I think that's where the ladder begins. I think it's that simple. You believe in the low elo homies? We'll see. We'll see. Let me. Bam. 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 What's up? What's up? Sup, sup. Dude, my first manager at Uber. His go-to greeting was sup sup dude I had to delay my DND group because you asked me to play in houses by an hour wait you could have just said no <laughs> what <laughs> what you could have just said no I forget did, did you win or did I win Oh, you won. Oh, man. I played pretty all right. You got mad at your breach, I heard. Oh, yeah. I was leading into Bug, dude. Bug had fabulous stuns all game, except he didn't tell us about any of them. He wouldn't be like, yo, don't swing. I'm stunning first. Instead of like Java would swing, fight, die, and then Bug would stun three perfectly. I'd be like, Bug, fuck you, you gotta take control of us. You missed Diamond Plus Q pop last night? Bro, I added them. I added you guys. If you don't have if you've got the channel muted, that's on you. Uh, I was trying to convince Bug to be more assertive. Because you, you have to tell your duelist what to do when you're playing a uh, breach. Who tries the chat in this? I don't know. They're on the end of a team. We're not on my team. I couldn't tell you. All right, all right. Let's get let's get all the the setup ready. I'm gonna boot up Val. Get everything set up so we can save some time. Once we begin the coaching. Hmm. I think hiding the bookmarks is more aesthetic. For your ascendant, you can't even get the seven requirements. Oh my god, nobody is on this morning. Okay, you guys want to see something funny? My boy Campecki is feeling me. Let's see if he started climbing. Okay, he climbed a bit. He was stuck in a mortal one yesterday, which is crazy because he gets minus eight 
plus 29. <laughs> we would get like a plus 29, then a minus 8, minus 7, minus 8, minus 7, minus 8, plus 29. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. Who's the career thing is see through again? Really didn't notice. This is how it works on my shit by default, man. Can Pecky Immortal 2 rank this dude? I mean, first of all, he gained 100 RR in a day. Second of all, these are his lobbies. One sec. I was simply lamenting that my friend was also having trouble. He's, he's in lobbies that are a bit higher than Immortal 1. <laughs> Okay, okay. Why is his MMR so high? <laughs> what do you mean? This guy's a pro. He ended last act. Rank nine. <laughs> it, trust me, if you end rank nine, your MMR will also be really high. <laughs> Why is it MMR high? Dude, if you see my definitive VCT right, drop him. Let's see. I'll, I'll tell you whether or not I roughly agree or disagree. I mean, you know my, my theory to it though. Boop, 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 boop. I'll just get banned this guy. Cause this guy's just like, trying to find the line you're lucky that i'm part of the generation that had to learn cursive still <laughs> but for those of you at home i will help the younger viewers this is america's okay so i would say you need to put these as tied for first right now time flash because we don't really have def any data on these two teams competing. I'd also say EG Sentinels and Leviathan or Leviathan should be more of a question mark depending on how EG performs in the uh, top four bracket. Because EG did have an objectively like easier um, bracket. Pretty sure Myber would go over a hundred thieves. Given they literally made it to um what you might call it. And same for Cloud9. I'm very performance based when I do rankings personally. Speaking of, so are you when it comes to EU for some reason. Is it because possibly you watch less EU? Not sure. But I agree with your EU rankings. You forgot China completely, which is really kind of messed up. PRS, Gen G, T1, DRX. Yeah, pretty much, right? I think T1 might be up here, but yeah. I'm, I mostly agree. I would say my biggest question marks are you putting loud second EG fifth and uh, Myber seventh. Yay at 10. <laughs> you can tell me you're a yay fanboy without telling me you're a yay fanboy. One sec. Let, let, you know what? Let's pull up the APAC league. And, and let's, uh, let's just see how yay did. Do, 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 do. Oh, they they got knocked out immediately. Oh. Oh. He bot fragged on jet. In the game they won. They put him back on smokes and he dropped 52 ADR. 
Bro, believe it or not, after the chamber nerfs, uh, I don't think this guy's uh, somebody you can call a top four player. I, <laughs> Of course, Ye's team is in 10th. Look at them. They got knocked out immediately. <laughs> His team did worse than, like, teams that have lesser known uh, duelist talent. Like, Nair 8's team did way better, right? How do I view the matches, the group stage, or the bracket? Oh, here. I mean, Governor played better on paper. They had a rough group, to be honest. All right. <laughs> okay, now he's at EMEA. Sorry, I'm a Governor. I'm just timing Yo-Yo out. You're actually huffing the fattest copium, dude. Like, was their first matchup rough against T1? Yes, absolutely. Bro, they lost. Come on, dude. Come on. Why do you think Ye has fallen off? Because, and I've said it a million times, Valorant is a team game. It's not about one guy being a superstar. It used to be back in episode three when agents could teleport seven times, throw 52 abilities and fucking dash around the whole map in three seconds. But now that every agent has been weakened, it's a team game. What matters more is how clean the team's communication is, how effectively they can perform shit as a team. It doesn't fucking matter if you have a giga superstar. Because one guy can't carry a game of Valorant anymore. It's not a thing. Three is such a good state for the game to be in. They're losing because they don't have good coordination. Just go watch. I believe they leaked it. Go watch the NRG comms videos. That's why Ye's fucking losing. Go watch the bleed comms videos if there are any. They're not going to sound like that. It's gotten, the game's different than it used to be. Just how it is, man. Yay thrived in the superstar meta, especially on the chamber roll. But we're not in that, that world anymore. And so, uh, it's tough. They're also putting Ye on Sky and Viper when he's a Jet slash Chamber player by trade. Bro, name one Jet slash Chamber only player that has just stayed alive in the current scene. If you main Jet slash Chamber and nothing else, you're trash. I don't want you on my team. Like... You, you, you get with the times old man chamber is not meta he sucks you can pick him on lotus and that's like it and then jet is pretty weak on multiple maps where she's outclassed by rays like dude there's a reason why even demon one plays smokes while jojimo played rays on the world championship roster of eg last year because you can't just play jet not anymore you can't you used to be able to do i need to pull up old jet clips for you guys to understand why uh jet mains were so good at the game and why everyone considers the jet mains to be the best players still it's just stupid like it's tradition at this point that we call the jet mains the goats but like they've all fallen off yay tweeted he had an issue with his eyes in the last match <laughs> you're right dude he totally would have king won the whole bracket if his eyes just were fine like i'm not gonna say he's lying he probably isn't i'm i feel for him we'll ignore the 52 adr game all right first of all it's kind of like <laughs> kind of not classy as a pro player to go drop johns out in public after a match
But second of all, let's be real. The dude one tricked Chamber. <laughs> back when chamber could, you know i'm gonna show you what chamber used to be able to do there's probably a lot of new viewers here this was one i took this play from yay back when he was on optic so yay the way it worked was he had two of these things and as long as they were within range of each other and chamber was in one of the circles when he snapped his fingers he would go to the other one okay that's how it worked <laughs> I'm, I'm dead ass um the way that optic ran this on icebox on attack was they would smoke off mid like this they would worm one of these beacons on the top tube and then they would go long together take b they put a beacon up here Ye would come up here and he would take a fight and then he would tp top tube <laughs> instantly and take another fight over here no shit he top fragged <laughs> of course he top fragged like it was so broken like of course he was the adr leader in the league because he played this agent on every map with a team full of the four best supports in the world with playbooks designed to maximize his amount of advantageous engagements because this agent was so broken dude wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll keep showing you chamber tech it was disgusting on haven <laughs> you could <laughs> it was so dumb you could have a freaking beacon <laughs> you, you could fight them mid window from top b and then you could be like whoop and then you could fight them from top c immediately immediately <laughs> no problem <laughs> it was so broken <laughs> bro. bro he could tp so far like he could tp so far yeah his fracture setup you could put him in a one and done in tower no problem because you could just put his TP like way over here, nice and safe and spawn. <laughs> you just put up tower. And what people would do is Chamber would buy Shorty, right? He'd play tower because he'd also have his headhunter. And then one of his teammates, when the round started, would drop a classic pistol over here. <laughs> so you could you could just blast the guy coming in tower, maybe get two snap your fingers out grab a classic and just play again it was stupid broken so no shit the guy had one of the highest adrs in the league okay like you guys he's so overrated because of that so is tens so is like anybody who's playing this agent is overrated if you're just looking at stats every single player who is playing this guy before the nerfs all of their stats are stupid overinflated same with Jet back in the day. Like, you have to take the their performances with a massive grain of salt. Players like Tens have managed to still stay competitive, but he's no longer the superstar. Because these agents don't exist anymore. Like, that's how it is. Yeah, like, look at Durka. Dirk is still insane, but guess who else is insane now and gets praised as well? Leo, Alphae, Boaster, everyone now gets praised because the, the game is more, um, more balanced, way better. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, back in the day, dude, it used to just be called Tens and Friends when he was on Cloud9. And it wasn't because, like, his teammates were bad. It was because the meta was your jet player 1v9s. And that was just how it was. But now people are being like, Ethan's the GOAT. And he kind of is. And they'll be like, Jonah P is insane. And he kind of is. They'll be like, look at Calm. Look at Boostio. 
And now people finally start talking about people who play non-duelist roles because we realized duelists were so overtuned. And we nerfed them. Oh yeah, Chamber had two tri You know what? I'm going to pull up one of my old playbooks from a team that I was on with JG, our Chamber player. I'm going to show you our Fracture Default. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> it's so bullshit. I forgot about this. Okay, okay. This was a B attack default. Chamber would trip drop and B main. <laughs> then he would solo fight A main while we would do an arcade crunch. Because Chamber could trip two jokes global. <laughs> this agent was not okay. <laughs> yeah, the, I believe they used to stay up when he died, right? It was insane. Like, there's so many things that that got nerfed. I'm pretty sure they used to stay up. Did they also nerf this op? It used to be a marshal. Is that cypher trips? I don't know. Nobody played this guy because Chamber was in the game. <laughs> You know, teams would have split defaults in pro where they would put a chamber trip here, a chamber trip here, and then they'd play like 2B <laughs> and like 3A. Like they just would play nobody mid because you didn't need anybody mid because we had, we just had chamber trips. We'll play off that info or whatever. Ignore the random comp I just threw together. Line cross ITPs were broken. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't talk about it. This one was not that broken. You can still do this, I believe, right? Can you not anymore? I don't know. These were not. These are not and have never really been that broken. Honestly, it was way more broken to play up here with the TP here. You can't? Okay, it doesn't matter. This play was never that good, chat. I'm sorry to break it to you. This is the one that, like, a content creator will clickbait as being broken, but it, it's actually not that good because he ends up in this um, super, super exploitable areas. Very situational. Dude, this agent was so broken. All right, let's do low low coaching. Let me pull up my requirements seven. Close Kaiser's video intro next year. Okay, there we go. All right, chat. In order to reach ELO heaven, you must follow my requirement seven. I'm done reading them. If you're new to low elo coaching, make sure you read them. Go to the low elo shenanigans channel, enter the raffle if you meet all the requirements. If you don't meet all the requirements, a hefty fine will be levied on you by the Wuhujin police. We will find you and you will have to pay cold hard time okay we got two entries two entries i'm sure one of them is dr turnip so we have one entry effectively Dr. Turnip is a known variable.
can we gamble on if the person meets the requirements nah eh. did that in the past and we had to like it, it can sometimes be too close to tell and i don't because it gets subjective and then you guys are like behooved to argue in one way or another because of where you put your, your points Boner Mon, save the three month tier one. Gallomancer, they were the 10 month prime. I swear these rules get more complicated every week. They do not, actually. They've been like this for about a month now. Who's first? Deadly banana. Let me pull up the tracker. All right. One agent. Not ready. Gold plus. Consistent matches. Consistent death matches. Solo Q Beast. Looks good here. I'm going to need rules six and seven from you, Deadly Banana. Push not long enough. Okay. So this is issue number six. Issue number six practice. You're scoring like twenties. 
Okay, so your accuracy rate's too high on easy. So do you um do you jump to uh like do you increase the range or anything? Because medium seemed tough. You said you'll return to medium on two twenty six. Let's go. I feel like easy and medium can be a big jump. Yeah. Yeah, I talk about this in my video. Deadly banana. Where um first start shut up who's in easy boss too easy medium too hard ring a bell only unpassable mountain when they attempt to move a score this learn from to contain harder easy or push yourself to flick as fast as possible when the bot spawns even if such a wild if i do the easy boss faster should i increase the range instead well i mean if we look at your faster run you're chilling like your scores are all good no let me look at uh well this one's actually shit I don't want you to confuse the term faster with no micro adjust. You do not move your crosshair at all on this movement on this easy bot, which is no micro adjustment. Well, no micro adjustment is faster. It's um, incorrect technique. There should be a micro adjustment. Now you can try and flick that micro adjustment to make it really fast, but it has to be there. It has to be there. Um, all the steps are, should always be present. So there's the reaction step. Yeah, so flick plus movement. And then there's before we stop and shoot. This end of movement right here. There is a micro adjustment phase right here. And essentially when you make it faster, That's mostly in an attempt to speed up this bit and potentially shorten the length of this bit and shorten the distance between end of movement and shooting. Because sometimes people will take a lot of time to shoot when they stop moving. So this is how you can improve your speed essentially is make your flick faster, move less if you're moving too much. That's not your problem. You're not moving too much. So I would not look at this part at all. Your movement duration is good. And so shooting sooner when you end movement, but you're already doing that very well as, as well. I actually think everything here is quite acceptable in terms of speed, but we're missing our micro adjustment completely. The speed here is actually totally fine. Like if we go to medium and look at speed, uh, boo, boo, boo. just count frames, 30 FPS. Yeah, that bot's way too close. I hit the close boss. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you start on six. Which is perfectly acceptable. Good reaction speed. 200 MS. Ain't nobody complaining about that. Okay. Let's look at the speed of your flick. So you start the flick, 
here one two three four and you're past the bot and you're holding a perfect i got no complaints about that your flick goes into the green zone okay so so far speed wise you're chilling you've got enough time to shoot the bot but now if we look at the movement where's the micro adjustment is at this point your brain needs to go wait a fucking second i'm aiming too low looks are so fast it's 30 fps 30 fps chat 30 fps we're missing the micro adjustment you see that's why you're missing the bots everything is perfect your speed is fabulous you have enough time to shoot that bot you're just not micro adjusting i prescribe you the eliminate 100 thingy and you should be chilling um uh, 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 your speed is really good like everything else is dialed in you just need to learn how to adjust your aim while you're doing that movement because you're not see you don't do it at all here either and when you are lined up you blast them but who here you here you did one but again it's very minor yeah you see how the micro adjustments happening at the end of your motion now you start moving right right as you click too the micro adjustment should ideally be happening during the movement yeah yeah, that's causing this delay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you're so close. You're so close. This drill does really push you to do everything correctly. That's why I like it so much. Because believe it or not, once you get all the steps comfortable, the medium bots are dead ass easy. It's not even a challenge. You have everything except this micro adjustment. So just a quick reminder, the way we practice that. You set it to eliminate 100. And you'll just keep moving until you really think you're lined up with the bot. And you stop and oops i missed that sucks moving 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 stop oops i missed so you're trying to stop on the bot so you understand what it feels like bam and we'll do left bam we'll do right bam we'll do left bam and you see how the moment i start trying to do it magically my crosshair is always stopping on their head how's it doing that how is my crosshair doing that? Ooh, that one was bad. I was looking at chat. Too short, too short. You can just make it stop right on the head. This is sort of what you're doing. Barely missing it. You got it. So it's nice and slow. Then we will go to the bots. That micro adjustment phase will hopefully feel more natural. Let's see if I can. I'm asleep right now. There you go. You can clip it. Asleep Hooge leaned back. I get 21. Satchel out. 
first try. Do you say not to return to regular drill so you complete 100 without whiffs? Uh, Deadly Banana, I'm not going to answer that question because the video answers that question. I'm pretty sure it does. I'll back check myself. Eating your crosshair a bit in front of the bot to account for your movement. Once you feel lined up, let go of the A key and shoot the bot on the head. Repeat for the next bot, but using the D key. Once you complete one entire run, Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. A miss counts as your motion completely halts and your crosshair is not on their head. When the motion halts, your crosshair needs to be on the head. And that essentially forces you to do the micro adjustment phase during the motion. And get very comfortable with anticipating where your crosshair will be as a result of your motion. So if you come to a stationary like position and your crosshair is not on the head, it's like, damn, I suck. With zero whiffs. And take as much time as you need. It can be very hard. You can just be walking like this, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Damn. Take as much time as you want. To really try and get it on that head. That's a far one. And again, you can micro adjust when you let go of the key because there's um there's deceleration in this game. Okay. So don't think of it. Because sometimes I'll overshoot and I'll adjust back. I'm trying to overemphasize it like this. But what's important is that micro adjust happens before your character is at like a complete standstill. You need to recognize how you're going to miss before you stop. The idea is um, if we open up paint. <clears throat> so you're holding movement. Let's do overtime right now. What happens? Like what actions happen over time? So you'll start holding some movement key here and when you let go or counter strafe I don't fucking care so when you cancel movement I'll just call it cancel movement there is a point here where you are now fully accurate and the goal is you want to be able to shoot as close to the beginning of that window as possible. Which means you ideally should be doing your aiming when you can't shoot anyways. It should make sense. In this window here, you can't shoot accurately anyways. Because you're moving. And generally you don't shoot while moving in this game. Uh, of course, sometimes you do. But like at this range you would not and so while you are moving is when you want to be doing the aiming so this is where the aiming needs to occur because this is free time it's free time you got it and that's your problem we watch when you're lined up you're chilling when you're not lined up you do your micro adjustment sort of as you're stopping. This one's actually acceptable. Your micro adjustment begins before your motion stops. Just find a, a rough one. Yeah, here we miss it. Yeah, when you're already lined up, you're being chilling. And when you're not lined up, you struggle a lot. This does make sense, of course. Right here, we see it as well. Here, we're aimed too high. But there's 
now we start adjusting we barely catch this bot it's like the last frame we can shoot it oh bad reaction on that one yeah whatever good unlucky shot honestly How do you micro adjust while moving other than knowing whether you're high or low? Okay, so I get that from your POV. It looks impossible, back astronaut. But understand you're in control of how much you're moving left or right. So you should know where your crosshair is going to end. So let's pretend I want to put my crosshair on the left of that pillar over there. Like I can rough of, roughly do that. The right of this pillar the left of this pillar is shallow right on right on right on is shallow is shallow right on like I'm really trying to get the edge right on the edge so because I can control my movement at this level You see then let's say my crosshair is here and I want to end it on the left of this pillar but I want to take this much of a step then I should know roughly how much I need to move my crosshair already while I'm moving because I know how far my crosshair is going to move from due to my movement because I'm used to my movement I know how much my movement is going to affect my crosshair horizontally already. And so I know if I need to adjust it more to the left or to the right. And this drill is sort of how you practice that. Because it'll get you, a, help you develop this feel for your movement. Does that make sense? Uh, I understand that to you, it feels very unnatural. Um but it's almost as if I'm stationary while I'm aiming. Okay. Like it, it feels very similar to me. It's not much harder for me to aim at a head while I'm stationary. Like this is probably way easier for you, but to me, it's actually not much harder to add this movement. In. It, it's a minor difficulty increase, like maybe 10% harder. And I am confident that for you, it feels like at least twice as hard, probably even more. Because I remember when I was like beginning to learn this game, I watched like a, a radiant guide and they were just like doing this. And I was like, that's incredible. How the fuck can he do that? Or actually he was doing it in the middle of the pillar. So he was aiming while uh, moving. And I was like, how the fuck can he do that so easily? But of course this is really easy to me now. But back when I watched that radiant player do that in that guide, I was like, that's ridiculous. Nobody can, like, that's insane. But no, it's completely natural to aim and move. They're like one in the same. And that's what this drill is trying to teach us. So yeah, we got to work on the micro adjustments, run it back one more week. You're basically there though, deadly banana. You're chilling. You started doing the practice 227. Yeah, but I'll look. Yeah, so there you would restart. Yeah, you're, you're struggling. This is perfect. Slow it down even more. You see how you missed three in a row? Um, I'm going to make an analogy for you that may or may not hit you hard. When a musician is practicing like piano and they miss a note, there's two types of musicians. One will just keep playing the passage at the same BPM. Like, let's say they're playing at... 110 beats per minute and they keep missing the note they'll just rewind they'll keep playing and they'll hit the keys harder hit them harder try to really hit the note it's very bad um it's a bad way to practice instead what they really should be doing is slowing down even more and forcing themselves not to miss any notes as slow as it takes if they miss notes at 40 well then maybe we should go at 10 like as slow as it takes of course 10 is uh 
too slow for people to recognize the tempo so you would two exit play double time or something but i i, I digress uh you miss this bot three times in a row take more time take more time like just keep moving just keep moving really think it through like okay okay am i ready not yet not yet i'm gonna keep moving like walk fucking circles around the thing see how you missed again i really force yourself to really try to have 100 percent accuracy you gotta go slower even slower because were you really ready to let go of the movement key on this spot here or did you go well fuck it yolo did you really feel ready i don't know there's no adjustment The idea is you're going to learn exactly where your crosser needs to be on the side of the bot. So like if fuck, if I'm at full speed and I let go, I need to let go. Let, let me make a lineup real quick. Yeah, perfect. So at full speed, I need to let go roughly bam. When my crosshair touches here, about here, you see where these boxes intersect. If I time my let go really well, huh, 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 it's so hard to do because I'm not used to doing it this way. But the idea is there's this gap and this is the gap where like at full speed, I know that when I let go of my movement, my cross is going to move that much more. And so while I'm moving, I do my micro adjust. I try to aim into like that sweet spot as I let go very it's kind of hard to explain it's, it's an intuitive process as in like it's sort of like explaining walking mechanically to another human who can't walk at a certain point they need to just walk more to learn all of the little tiny motions that their legs have to perform to do it correctly like I'm trying to break it down to you for you but you have to understand i'm not thinking about any of that i am just moving and my crosshair just ends up on the head um and this drill will help you get to that point but there should be no conscious thought once you get very comfortable with it okay so don't think of it as this like thing that you have to be constantly thinking about but right now uh maybe that would help you, you need to be aiming while moving and then when we stop we're on it too frequently it looks like you, you stop your aim um too early you recommend counter strafe it doesn't matter if you find it more natural to counter strafe counter strafe if you find it more natural to let go of the key let go of the key. It doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer. There's specific reason hard to aim at targets that don't look at you. Uh, if you mean in like a rank game, yeah, it's because their movement is not what you're used to. Like this guy is going to move horizontally here, which is what I've trained aiming at and what I'm used to aiming at. And they're going to move at a very specific velocity that I'm used to seeing in Valorant. So in my target instead looks like this and they're walking like diagonally or whatever. Then their velocity is like, it's a speed and direction that I'm not used to. So it's harder to hit the shot, especially if I'm not expecting it. Like if I'm holding an angle and I expect them to strafe out, but instead they like walk out in some weird way. It'd be a hard shot to hit. Okay. We're gonna reopen the raffle. Boom. I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Be right back, be right back.
Ayo. Be back. All right, we got three more entries. Bad. Who's next? Dr. Turnip. What's good? Surely we are on the cusp. Surely. Oh, we haven't played much. I feel like we just, uh, we're getting to a point where I think we need to play more games. I'm not saying more per day, but just like, it's getting really close. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see the death badge pod first. But I think we need to see like a ranked VOD from you. I think I said that last week. Cause I need to figure out what's going on in these games. Oh, well, we had a zero four zero piece of shit on our team. <laughs> these games. I don't rank temp. Perfect. Okay. This is the match. Let's allow you to get warm. Shit on. I'll allow it because they're not looking at you, but I'm not happy with how much you're aiming at this guy. You see how you're choosing to stop moving to aim at them? <laughs> it's fine because they're not looking at you. Like, I would do this, too, in a ranked game because I do want the additional accuracy. But in deathmatch, that's not what we're practicing. Enemy down. Shit on. Taken out. Dominating. Yeah, we have a habit of pulling our crosshair down. So right now we're too low, but it's very minor. So like I consider this like acceptable. Uh, you're not used to aiming at the right height yet. It's probably like up here. But um, so we come out. We're a bit low. That's fine. We aim for the head. But watch what we do with the moment we kill this guy. When you turn to the right, you see how you turned at a slant like this. And you also do this when you turn to the left. It can feel unnatural to um, not do this. But there's a drill in the game let's playlist, which you do do that trains you not to do this. But even when you pull your knife out, I want you to aim at head height, basically. You're sort of letting your crosshair dip. Even if I go out, I'll go out with a bang. Just promise you'll dance at my funeral. And I will warn you that you're going to hear some people suggest um, a piece of software which can let you change the angle at which your mouse sensor operates. And you need to tell them all to shut up. And I'm just warning you because I know of people who will tell you to do that. And that's essentially just crutching bad mouse control. Uh, don't listen to them. But yeah, so like when you turn, it has to be this like horizontal movement. You pull your knife out and it should still be up here. If anything, it should be easier because I'm performing less motion. Because I, I don't have to come down here and then back up. Instead, I just stay at my comfortable height. Um... When you get higher elo, it'll actually, you know how people can say they get like dizzy playing FPS games or whatever, like more casual uh, gamers. 
like maybe you have a adult in your life like 50 plus years old who can't watch or can't play fps games they get dizzy because it doesn't look right to them or whatever i get that sensation when i watch the game like this it feels really 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 unnatural for the the boxes to like the straight lines to be so curved or um so tilted because when you're aiming at head height these lines on this box go more straight up and down and it just feels like this is what Valor's supposed to look like when i'm aiming down here it's like this weird like fov shift because all of a sudden all the straight lines are slanted inwards and it feels so weird to me because it's essentially um like that's how the linear algebra works to cast this 3d stereoscopic like view onto your monitor so maybe that'll help because when you're ideally when you're aiming at head height the lines of any wall should be straight they should be aiming straight up and down and like here if we look at the box it's not aiming straight up and down this bit to here is it's moving a bit to the right if i screenshot it i'm aiming at it like this and you can probably just see it it moves to the right when i'm aiming at head height the line is way more straight it's such an annoying effect Use the lines near the walls as an estimate of head height. You don't need to estimate head height. Uh, I've seen people do this where they will go around. It's always a low rated players. So I've seen them and they'll be like, okay, the corner of this box, that's head height here. Okay, this dark line, that's head height here. And they'll go around maps just labeling what's head height everywhere. The only time I want you doing that, and again, this is only for higher rated players, honestly, is when you need to peak like verticality. So when I need to peak upwards, Yes, I have a crosshair lineup. But when I need to peak level, there's no lineup necessary because level is level. You should be able to tell if you're aiming level, if you're aiming straight ahead. Right now, I'm aiming straight ahead with no reference. You don't need a reference to aim straight ahead. Now, if... So let me draw our Valorant guy. Here's our gun. If our camera in the game was here, like in the, the video game world, and it casted out this vision, then yeah, we'd need to aim up a bit to aim at our opponent's head. And that could be hard because it would depend on how deep they are away from us. But in Valorant, ignore the gun. Your character is Superman and they have laser eyes because that's how it works. So... This means at any depth, like a guy two meters away and a guy 10 meters away have the exact same head height, exact same head height, as long as the ground is level. So all you're doing is aiming straight ahead, which means you would never touch the ground. You're aiming parallel to the ground. So imagine we're in a corridor with a really, uh, actually, where's a low ceiling corridor in this game? breeze there's the lowest ceiling hallway in this game i've actually thought of a way to click this icebox kitchen i think actually no i can't have it can't have a ramp chat can't have a ramp it needs to be long this is gonna click so hard i actually just uh I just realized how it's going to work. So let's imagine our guy is in um, a, a hall. Okay, there's a roof and a ceiling. If we're aiming straight ahead, then our bullets will never hit the roof and never hit the floor, right? They'll never hit either of these because our sight line is what? It's parallel. Way, but hey, a parallel to um, the roof and the floor. Ready. So let's go into this very convenient hallway. And if I just aim like this, can you visualize the hall getting longer? 
and see that my bullets would hit the ground over here. Uh, my crosshair is now on the mini map but way up here. Like, can you see that if this hallway extended another 50 meters, my bullets would hit the ground way over there? You can, right? Because of my crosshair is too low. This is head height. My bullets will never hit the ground. They'll also never hit the ceiling. They're parallel. So if I aim just a bit higher, now you can see that my bullets would hit the ceiling off in the distance. So I'm not aiming at head height. Head height's right here. Now it can be hard to tell like here. Like if I aim just a little bit down, of course you can't tell. Because the hallway is not long enough. But uh, this is the idea. You see the ground, aim parallel to it. Cast a laser out from your eyes and just try to be parallel with your aim to the ground below it. No reference point needed. Um, all right, I'm going to remove all reference points. Let's see. Where would I have to stand to have no reference point? I think you guys would cheat somehow. Uh, Riot devs are way too good. They have reference points everywhere. Okay, this is a bit awkward. There's no reference point really here. And it's nice and long. It's like here you can tell way too low. I just bring it over. I'm too low. Because my crosshair would hit the ground way over here. This is parallel. Try to visualize the laser coming out of your eyes and keep it parallel with the ground. Do it really far, long range. Now it can be very obvious. A slight aim down is very obvious that this will hit the ground. Okay. I hope that helps. Because now if we, uh, I mean here, of course, but let's just pause on this frame. Let's extend this ground over here. Okay. Let's extend the ground out. Into 3D space. Your crosshair is clearly going to hit the ground over here on the A site. Your laser is hitting the ground right now. Which means if there's an enemy here, you're aiming too low. Makes sense. Neutralized. And right now, you're aiming pretty much at the right height. Oh, we brought it down though. You see? Yeah, the moment you kill this guy, so first you brought it back up. Aim at head height. Good looks. Good looks owned and now watch it takes you like no time at all and you're aiming too low <laughs> like the first thing you do after you kill a guy is oh thank god back to back to my comfortable height of their fucking legs like you immediately pull right back down <laughs> and now here you're actually a beast on accident because we're aiming too low, but oh, hey, this guy is down a vertical angle, so we're actually pretty damn close. So I don't need you to have the right placement on these vertical peaks because it's very hard. But now that we've come to a level surface here, can you see how you're you're going to shoot the ground another hundred meters off in the distance with this crosshair? We're not parallel to the ground right now. Your laser is angled downward.
<laughs> here you're good here you're good i think you're focusing on it it is slowly dipping though and especially after you turn <laughs> really focus on making your turns level this is a really good fight okay let me look at the rank game i think we're gonna see something very similar let me find one where you don't just giga dominate Okay, I mean, you kind of get Giga dominated on the split bot, though. Yeah, let's look. <laughs> okay, okay. Sheriff ropes. Turn up this crosshair's been in no man's land this whole round. Like even here. So our knife tagged one. So they could be mid, yeah. So let's pretend this is deathmatch for a sec, and you're gonna fight them mid. You're gonna shift peak like that? They were here. Sewer side. You died. Now this should be knife out because you're not exposed to any danger. A good rule is if your gun is out, it's on a corner at head height. If you don't think you need to be doing that right now, then pull your knife out. It's a really good rule. If you think it's fine to aim at the fucking wall right now because there's no threat, then let's move a bit faster. We have a, a knife for that. But the moment we think it's time to aim, like, you know, maybe here we want to have our gun out. Well, then our crosshair should be a corner. That was a very long adjustment period. Yeah, and we're aiming at the, the floor. Oh, bet. <laughs> you get so lucky. Like we had a 35 second window where we were not ready for the fight. All right, turn up. You want to play a game? You want to play a rank game? Because I got the beeper. I got the beeper ready to go. You want to queue it up? You ready? Bet. Up and drag me. For chat who's new to this segment, I'm going to hold the beeper whenever Dr. Turnip's crosshair is not ready for a fight while she has her gun out. Additionally, while you have your knife out, I'm still going to beep it if it's not at head height. Because that should be your default. Turn it! Are you ready oh, to cook? Are off. Does Hello? turnip win? What's up? What's up? I'm ready. Bet! I'm also going to beep if you're not at head height, even while you have knife out. But I don't need you to be like on a corner or anything. It has to be head height. Okay, okay. Like parallel. So not necessarily head height depending on where you are but parallel how how strongly do you feel it has to be a comp very <laughs> you should not care about no. your rank yeah. and so i will make you not care about it by queuing comp right now oh it's just people get more upset the kids are not all right oh you just know? mute uh, you okay. just mute your teammates and comp. we're we're gonna try to win of course yep Go get them. Here's what it sounds like. You got that? Is that loud? Yeah, let me Is turn that... my headphones up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't warm up. Nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, trust me, it doesn't matter. Looking at that VOD, if you were just aiming at the right place, you would be gold already. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 
you hear it are we good volume yeah it could be louder okay i think that's on you yeah Ooh, perfect Zendikar, can you close prediction when it's ready? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Dr. Turnip. Rank game. And I'm beeping her crosshair placement. It shouldn't take too long. Usually it takes like three, four rounds and then, uh, I don't have to beat much for the rest of the game. It needs to be louder. I can't control the volume of the beep in particular chat. It's like a hardware beep from my go XLR. Mm What are the points from the predictions do? Uh, slash huge list rewards is a command where you can list out what rewards exist for your huge bucks. Okay. All right, get ready, Jack. Okay, get ready. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready to beep at a moment's notice. The moment we spawn in and she aims down. I believe you spawn in at head height, so the game sets you up for success. What is this load in time? It's not me. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, yo, homies. Teamwork on three. One, two, three. Well, okay, 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 okay. Look at that. That's good. It's too high, actually. Oh, <gasps> okay. Parallel, not at the don't aim at the deep angle. The same parallel. Yep. Parallel. You see Chamber's head? He's on the same line as you. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Now you're aiming a bit below it. What the fuck? Why are you aiming at his shoulder? Yeah. yeah, there we go. No, now you're yeah, there you go. What if they could be standing higher than me? Oh my god. Backside, backside. How the omen. fuck did that omen get there? <laughs> <laughs> so that was embarrassing. Last player standing. 
Do you have a habit of aiming at shoulder height Lower. if you notice in the first fight? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how your teammates let that nice. omen out, but. Mm. That. Nice. Respectfully, you so couldn't beautiful. stop one guy for real. Okay. And the only time you're gonna raise the height of it is once you're like genuinely swinging like a higher angle. You were aiming higher B main before you were like swinging at all. Got it. So this one has a lot of ups and downs. Yup. And I'm being so decently I, I lenient on the hard ones for that. But once you peek out, I beep you if you're too low and you don't fix it. Oh, got it, got it. That is one out. I have the spike. This is. You can't aim, so we're fine. No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, parallel, parallel, parallel. Parallel. I have the spike. Dun, 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 dun. Smoke. It's smoke. Oh god. Okay, okay. 30 seconds left. No! No! Spike down A. I got the spike. Ah. Yeah, I don't I know was, why you're aiming down. Too... The Reyna back sight is on the same height as you. Maybe you're okay. thinking she's on the water, but well. she wasn't. Okay. They're higher. aiming at her body. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just look at the damage. Hold that. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Body, body. You can't see me, but I know we just have that relationship. Uh, I'm waving my finger at you, shaking them out. One second. Mute all sorry. these fuckers. What the hell? <laughs> Let's take what they have. You have Jet's head right there. <laughs> I feel like I'm... Parallel. Ah. Parallel, parallel. I think they want to go B. Right, so I'm going low, but now. <laughs> My ult's ready. Okay, right now this is kill. I have this spike. I don't want spike. Spike drop. Okay, I think there's one here. Thirty seconds left. Careful here. Ten seconds. Oh, boy. One huh. enemy remaining. I think it generally you need to be more comfortable fighting people. Like your teammates were all mid that round. There was one enemy tunnel and you ran mm -hmm. all the way back to B main alone. Like you could just push out mid. You just throw a rain yeah. of flash out, walk up, fight those guys. Yeah. Also, if I see another first shot body shot, I'm going to lose my marbles. Why do oh. we always kill with our second bullet? I'll tell you why, because you, you, you rush your fucking shots. Head height. Look at Jess head. Move to your left without aiming up anymore. And you see you're aiming at like the bottom of her neck. Yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. Yeah, I know. I'm having trouble focusing on. Yeah, you are. Stuff. <laughs> oh. oh no it's always low isn't it Just let them yeah it's also you always shoot uh. your first bullet too early I'm so sorry. I'm imagining the frustration. Higher? Oh, dang it. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. They just happen to be fucking hopping. I'm muting. Okay. All right, we're letting turn him go. <sighs> Weapon choice. It is so personal, no? You pick a gun and it tells yeah. me who you are. Yeah. What's up, fam? Hola. Yeah. Hey, what's good? You need more beeps? Nah, Turtle's got the idea. Turtle's got the idea. Beep is for crosshair placement. It's it's just for the height of the crosshair. In fact, uh, I was not beeping if she wasn't in the right spot with it. Just the height. <laughs> Red silver is not real. Defense operator omen. Head height. Head height. Oh, there's a knob. I'm not going there. Keep a turn up. Can't hear me now. I feel like Turbo could just flash yeah. and kill that fucker, dude. Head height. Spike down. Defender spawn. Oh, dang it. That was a How many of them are hot? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where's this guy aiming? Reloading? 21 bullets in a 1v1. Spike wings. Thrash is ready. 30 seconds left. You will not kill my allies. Spike digging. 
Holy shit. It's so bad. Oh, that is tough. That is tough. Hopping really is a buff in low elo. Hopping is a buff in solo queue. All the way up to rank one radiant. Okay. okay. The counter okay. to an op is very structured, careful team play. And believe it or not, nobody can do that in solo queue in any elo. I like how she can just ping saving and just cop a guardian. It looks like we're going. It begins. Or mid. Okay. I have the spike. No. Spike go. Uh oh. I have the spike. Oh, oh God. shit on. Okay. Can you can heal, turn it? What the hell? The orb? Oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> Open flash. Coming out half wall. I have no idea where they are. Well, the omen flash from Nest. Reminder turnip oh. cannot hear me. The vandal, the vandal. I feel like turnip cooks way more okay. with the guardian. We know the drill. Stick to your roles and we'll crush it. Turnip's a guardian demon. What do you need? Why don't we buy yeah. one flash, yeah. one heal? Why don't we buy up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't Dancing. get it. For you, Hermanita. <laughs> Our gopperator just got first blood. Okay. Wingman's gonna plant spike. Wingman's gonna. Oh. Who is an outlaw? There. Wait, I love that ADS. I cannot believe we stopped it. gonna be windows soon if they're not mcdonald's like crazy oh they were mcdonald's bad shit on oh my god wait what head height head height if you first bullet kill at least four people this game i will gift four tier threes you've first bullet killed zero people this game so far <laughs> you can't even rebuy. You kept that vandal. <laughs> she just shot a frowny face in the sand. No prisoners. Forgive me. Sometimes the best motivation is a reward for somebody else. It can be hard to do something for yourself. It can be easy to do it for somebody else. Humans are dumb like that. We all find it so hard to love ourselves. It's so easy to love others. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh! One, 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 one. I count that. Wait. Oh, that was not one. Yeah. Notice how long it took Raina to kill you? Yeah. If you just took your time, you would have killed her too and dismissed yeah. away. I'm dead ass. Yeah. Silver players are so much worse than the people you face in deathmatch. In deathmatch, you're facing diamonds all the time. Player standing. 
I am. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Re they're so bad, really. Just aim for the head and then click. No rush. I'm dead ass. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. First shot. First shot. Head hate and first shot. Say we make mistakes. When they do, take advantage. I am good. Relevant Zami moment. Oh, you have the clip where he's like, "Wait, really?" I re I remember I was saying, "Yes, yeah, Zami, dead ass, just take your time." And then he like did this. <laughs> Don't tell me it's always been this way, and I. Just Never noticed. You have so much time. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, the technique there was fabulous. He's got unlucky. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck this game, and it's like. No. Gun inaccuracy, giving a bad feedback loop to Dr. Turnip right there. First shot. First shot. First shot, I can get a first shot. Well, that's how Terrence a dot cross there. No! <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. No, no, I count that. I count that. Those were all head high yeah. shots. You didn't hit a body okay. shot. As long as you don't okay, hit a body okay, shot, okay, it counts. Okay. That's two. Uh, okay, okay. Can you try dot cross there? I think yeah, this stupid true. gap is helping you aim lower. Um. <laughs> uh, red dot. Maybe make it white. I guess if you like red, go ahead. No, no. Uh, um... Primary. Go to the primary tab. I'll walk you through it. At the top, primary. Cross hair color, white. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, my nose is itchy. One sec. There. Gotcha. Someone's there. We men's gonna plant the Dizzy is the most overpowered ability in the silo. It no, is no, no. Where, broken. Where, 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 where? Holy shit. Maybe they're maybe they're here. Maybe they are here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Boom. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Did that count? I think that counted. Last Boom. Before the switch. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, that's three out of five. Uh, okay, okay. Two more. She didn't even realize. I said four Sorry, the first I time, chat. Sorry, I made weird sounds. I got excited. I, I just made it five for fucking fun. Chat, a good what? personal Be trainer annoying. will knows how to push you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're at the gym and your personal trainer says, okay. let's do eight reps, but it turns out you're going to cruise through eight reps. When you get to rep seven, you know what they're going to say? They're going to say six, 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 seven, seven and a half. And you're going to keep going. Look at her. She's easily on pace for four. So we're raising the bar. Go with I'd be a shit coach if I let her hit the bar so early. It turns out she's more capable than I thought. Oh, dipped, it dipped. I saw that. Ah. Spike down mid. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think Turnip realizes she's about to have the highest headshot percentage and highest ADR of any rank game she's ever played. Just with a mindset change. Because she already has the mechanics. Like, look at it. She already mm -hmm. has the mechanics. She doesn't have the mindset. Switching sides. Okay. Did she ever check the scoreboard? Kind of based, never checks. It's like pen flash. There. I watched there.
I do better when I don't check. <laughs> and I hate to break it to you, you need to learn to check the scoreboard. Because there's this thing called economy and ultimate status. You're gonna have to learn to check for. Oh, okay. You do another first shot body shot and I'm subtracting a point. I just want you to know that. Okay. Last player standing. Spike down mid. Chat, that was a double kill. Like they swung her dry with no util into her off angle and body shot her with classics. I don't spike planted. The lower rated viewers, you don't understand how much time Dr. Turnip just had there. Like, this is parallel. This I would have gotten a double parallel. kill on those guys. Like 95% of the time. <laughs> They're all just aiming at the body. Everyone's just hitting bodies. Vibe check. We feeling good? Hope so. Hope so. Okay. 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 Hmm. Hey, this is downwards ramp. <laughs> Astute observation from Dr. Turnip. This is downwards ramp. Oh, God. Ooh, no body shot there. She's lucky, but that was a rushed shot. This is why she has a PhD. <laughs> Here. Spike planted. Gun. Downwards ramp detected. Cover going down. <laughs> this jet could not be real. How doesn't she hear that? She didn't even turn around after the okay. first shot. She just, okay, 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 okay. just kept ignoring them. These strangers want me to. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I feel bad. I feel bad. They're beginners. They're beginners. We're just observing. I was the same way. I like how she calls it saving when she buys Guardian. I remember the first time JPC did that and I told him that if he did that against me, I would 180 and one tap his ass. And then like not even a week later, we play some DM together and he did that to me and I 180 and one tapped his ass. <laughs> oh, it was a good learning moment. Where are they? They're elbow, Dr. Turnip. Ouch, minus one. Okay, okay, Plus okay. one. Okay. We're net neutral. One of those one of those was not a headshot. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're still three out of five, chat. My bad. Parallel. Okay, we are aiming in the weirdest spots. Oh. There. Thank God we're in an ELO where the enemies just make Get noise. Out of my way. No, come on, come on, come on. Thirty seconds there. left. There. Uh oh, if that jet, jet hits our body, we die. If that's her specialty. Spike planted. Is that middle? Last no. Oh. Standing. Oh, okay. 
Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Look, at least you don't take gunfights like this gecko. All right, so you lose a point for the omen, but you gain the point back for the other kill, so you're still at three out of five. Okay. Also, I really think you just need to fight them more. I think you should go B tunnel and just shift walk elbow and fight every round. Okay, okay, I can do that. Waited for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, that's plus one. But you just waited three seconds at the start of the round doing nothing. Though. <laughs> you you should beat them, elbow. Like timing Got wise, it. you get there before they do. This is not a Zen game. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. All right, you're at four out of five now. Four five out of five. Okay. I love how the people in Diamond Blow are cringing with the Silver's Cross replacement when they do the same thing, LOL. Well, you gotta understand. If we put that Diamond player in this lobby, they would be fine. And they would get all the headshots. In their lobbies, yes, they look just as bad. But that's because the game is faster in Diamond. It's only until really like mid-high Immortal where people finally catch up to the pace of their own ELO and can control their um their technique in a calm manner please do not mistake my smile oh. i take this song very seriously need a drop need a drop thank you turn it on realize we can like move while we're in the buy menu Are we even against the barrier right now? We're not thinking. We we're just going. We're just going. Careful. Oh. oh my god, we are aimed so deep. What? Oh, I see you. Oh. Too fast. Ah. Spike down. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay. Four and a half. Four and a half. That's that's generous. I appreciate it. Oh. Uh. Also, why are you holding your gun out when you cover that? area between tunnel and elbow at the start of the round it's not like there's anybody there um that that is true that is a good point yeah and let's just push through elbow every round so when they're not elbow just keep walking through it all the way okay got all it, the way to it. their spawn and shit yeah I no think decision was, making like hunting the fight but if i'd wrapped around spawn that would have been pretty sneaky no it's just a guaranteed way to get the fight faster i didn't oh. like how you had to just wait for them to peek you mid seconds left i'm and noticing we're just the... pray that the omen op isn't holding us yep oh wait spike planted oh they're lagging yeah that's five no you guys are you guys don't want to push I, dr I turnip it's kind of cringe crosshair. why don't you want to push dr turnip would have gotten a beep Yep. You have so many rounds left. Okay. I'm amped. Let's go. I got nope. things to do. <laughs> Imagine she that just buys Odin. Odin. A typo. <laughs> oh, I'm poor again. Chow wants the tier three so bad. Oh, don't worry. I'm already committed to giving out the tier threes. So relax. Relax. The tier threes are getting handed out. Not about that. For Just don't tell Dr. Turnip that. Dr. Turnip needs to think that she has to do well. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, no. I know, I know, it's my hotkeys. 
<laughs> she can't hear me. I don't know why she just responded to me. We're aiming so low. I want to be. Is it reloading? Boom. Okay, sure. One enemy remaining. Talk to turn if they just shot two bullets at you. Well, now she's not gonna peek. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so after you kill that first guy, what do you think, like, I would do right after I kill that first guy? Um. Start walking tunnel. Not walking tunnel. Start going tunnel right now. No, I'm telling you, go tunnel right now oh, and now oh, answer me. Sorry, what would sorry, I do sorry, after sorry. I killed that guy? I was thinking, um, 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 I was maybe not swing because there were maybe No, two. I would flash and swing. They're silver I, shitters. I, They're bugs. I, There's no I strategy. I was, would step on them like bugs. Squish. On second thought, on second thought, I would probably just keep going and swing. Yeah. Squish. Squish them. Go. Go. Step on them. Squish. You will not kill my allies. I'm looking for more. <laughs> Go! One enemy remaining. Your ace! Why did you let them take your ace? Oh, I didn't realize it was an it's just, just an ace. It's Fastest! an ace. <laughs> you kill them! That was good! I already got one this season. What? I have a different Spanish target too. <laughs> That was trying to be funny. I'm not serious. That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm making fun of my elo. Mm. I'm sorry. Keep up. I thought it was funny when I said it. She got no ego. That's almost every player in silver. <laughs> we just waited three seconds again. Oops, we that just was a I didn't mean to make sense. Wait, that's base. Ah, that was a uh, not the first. Yeah. Turnip is literally so much better than these guys. It's not even funny. <laughs> like the mech gap between her and these silvers. They're scared of me. Yeah, they are. I'm so scary. I'm so scary. Yeah, you are. Oh, shoot. Got it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Reloading. Oh, that was a Shinobu night boat. Yeah. Blinding. Easy. Yeah, I know the next couldn't have been there. Easy. Easy. Yeah. I'm paying out believers. Oh, Zendikar got it. Bet. All right, hop in the stream. I'm going. I'm, we're doing very quick VOD review. Be oh, oh, actually, show no. the scoreboard after this. No, it's gonna score. be super. Oh, oh wow, top notice. frag! Wow, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Really. Wow, yeah. top frag! Uh, Crazy. The, they're so back and forth. It's like top frag. I know why frag, they're back and frag, forth. So. I'm gonna show you why in the vod review, oh. and Wait, all second. our problems to, will be solved. I have to turn this the stream back on because yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Show I, the scoreboard I, first. I show the scoreboard. Show oh, you, the scoreboard. you, um, yeah. Oh, oh, that's not career, the scoreboard. Career, career. Uh, yeah, yep, I yep, did. Yep. That's not the scoreboard. I got it. Like, here's the score. Bugs. Look at them. Easy. Well, that's why. Because sometimes... Into the stream. You know. Into the stream with Dr. Turnip. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Back to Turnip. I am literally going to flowchart Valorant for you. They have no idea. On defense. Until we get the gold. Your mechanics are so much better than these guys that it's hilarious, to be honest. Like, if you got a duel and you were ready for it, you won. <laughs> Every time in this game. Okay, so first, 
Oh. First things first. My ult ready. I'm going to go stand by the barrier turnip and I want you to watch. The barrier is going to drop and I'm going to go peek elbow. Okay. Just watch. We are chilling, chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling. I'm ready to go I'm right in this corner because it's the closest I can be to elbow. Every second matters. Okay, 131 I peek here and you saw a uh, minus the fact that gave me a classic pistol. We can have our knife out here because they they spawn over here. There. They start the round here and they start the round here. So they cannot be here. And they cannot be here. They can't be in either of these positions. It's impossible. They'd have to teleport. Now, if we watch your Dr. start Turnip round, that. Dr. Turnip needs to think that she has to do. So first of all, you're not touching the barrier. And look how, look at you blaming something else like a piece of shit. You're not even touching the barrier right now, Dr. Turnip. So for no reason, we've just sacrificed a full Reyna's size of of speed what are we doing do well the round starts oh, wait, we no. switch to gun i know i know it's my we shift and look at that peak look at that peak what was that peak you wouldn't you wouldn't want peak oh, like that in deathmatch i know i know it's my Cut. uber drive we're close to corner close to corner And then our crosshair does not pre-aim here because we were further and here we can pre-aim for this peak right here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's He's keep watching though. Let's go another round. He's going and I'm like bugs. Squish. On second thought, on second. Not touching the barrier. Second thought, I would probably just keep going and swing. Gun out, switch to yeah. knife, switch to gun. And now they're both out already, but yes, good. Squish, squish. Squish! squish. And now we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Push them! Go! Go! Step on them! Hey, look at this! Do you see yourself right now? You have Gecko with you too! Go! Go! You are shift peeking B main! Your Gecko just ran past it! Knife out! Go! One enemy remains. And then you miss your ace. Okay, back to the elbow walk rounds. Let's rewind a bit. I can show Are you some of your now? earlier rounds. Not in the corner of the barrier. Going, we're just going. No we're knife. Just going. Really slow, but we got here. This is good. Oh. oh my god, we are aimed so deep. Okay. Rewind. Watch another. Oh. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Look. Round start. What was that? <laughs> just... Why did three seconds just pass? Why did we do nothing for three seconds? You're scared. You're scared of bugs. They're ants. Just waited for nothing. And now, of course, they're there. And now look at your peak. And even with the world's shittiest peak, and you peek into three bugs, you still kill one. You know why? Body shot, body shot, body shot, body shot from the enemy team. This is your elo. They are this trash. So all you're going to do on defense, you know, book out turnip. This is your defensive playbook on breeze. That's it. This is your defensive playbook on Bind. Right here. 
And if they're not here, take the TP. Use your flash. Fight them here. That's your defense fine. So you'll just take this long range fight. If they're not, if they're going A, you TP, they're coming hookah. Of course, just fight them from long. We're going to maximize the number of fights you get. Okay, you got that? That's your whole bind defense. That's it. Ascent, defense. You're just going to come out catwalk and fight tiles. Noink. What are we going to do if there's nothing tiles? Well, if they're B, we're going to walk out. We're going to flag like this. If they're A, we're going to walk out. We're going to flag like this. If you keep dying while flanking because they're doing annoying holding shit, then you have permission to do that. But only when uh, you're really predictable and they're punishing you, which is going to be like never in your elo. Lotus. You're going to be like that Reyna from that VOD where I called her predictable in that Omens VOD and I closed their VOD because their notes were to identify predictable behavior. You will just walk out B. Bump, 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 bump. Ice box. The round is going to start. You're going to be on this box at zero, zero, zero. Before the barriers go down, you are going to jump leap of faith. Grab the rope, come pipes, and fight them here. Very quickly. If they're not there, you are going to then be the most confident turnip in the world and get crazy flag timing. You're going to make noise. Or you're scared. Oh, 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 what maps are we missing? What maps are we missing? Split. Split's an annoying one. Split, you're just going to fight. You're going to come up onto this box. Fight ramps. Rotate through mid if it's B. Fight mid and B hammer. Split's annoying. We can't really push out. Sunset is not annoying at all. Sunset's easy. Come behind this box. Kill them. They start burning util. For you there, start playing here. Use your flash. I think that's it. And then on attack, of course, you have to play with your team in however they want to attack. But look, let me pull up your tracker now. Talk to your turnip. I haven't looked yet, but I bet that that was like your best king performance of all time. Yep. Look what you're capable of. Look at this headshot percentage. 57%. Look at your other games. 7. 19. 16. 11. Do you understand? I can add all four of these numbers together. In fact, I will. For those of you who are bad at math. 19 plus 11, 30. Plus 16, 46. Plus 7, 53. Even if we added all four of your past percentages together, it's less than you just did in one match. All because I told you I would gift some subs if you aimed for the head first okay this is the power of mindset you have the mechanics already to get out of silver by a mile what you don't have is the confidence to wield them you're playing scared you're not aiming for the head you're rushing your shots you think you're not better you need to flip that script in your head because you're literally better they are bugs step on them squish them climb on their heads straight to gold where you belong so we can do some real vod review and you can stop playing this boring ass agent okay 
What's the best game you've had, All Axe? Let's find it. Thirty-five percent. Thirty-three. You've never even come close, have you? No. No. Never even come close. And these inconsistent games are these games where you perform poorly. The reason why is because of these fights. Your approach to them is flawed in ranked. Okay. I promise. In. there's no reason to arbitrarily be like oh well you shared one thing now share everything that's not how it works Fred and thank you for the tier three Who's do you want to see a cool omen TP? Is it on split? And is it a bug? And did you get it from T Pack's top on YouTube? Just just wondering. I see all of those. I love that guy. I've seen the sunset one too. You, know, you guys can't impress me with tech that's already on the internet. In a sent TP, I pulled off. I don't want to see your solo queue clips. I'm sorry. There's too many of you in chat. I, I can't humor that. Boom, 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 boom. 
Aaron, this is literally, yeah, answered in the rules. Yeah, you just link both trackers. quick fingers ah i'm timing you off for 10 minutes <laughs> i said no <laughs> you keep trying to sell no solicitors i'm not buying stop knocking on my door what was the turn up game low elo coaching or viewer ranked uh, it was low elo coaching. I watched one. I, I don't know. I watched maybe like one round of Turnip playing ranked. And I said to myself, Turnip has no idea what the hell she's capable of. And so I made her play ranked on stream because it was, uh, it was hard to watch that ranked bot. Like Dr. Turnip, you literally are like. Like they make anime stories about this where the guy goes to the gym for like five years and gets super jacked, but they don't know how to use their muscles and they go and join the basketball team, but they suck. And their coach just like says one word and it all clicks and they become the fucking MVP every game. Like it's literally you like I'm dead ass. Your mechs are like gold platinum level. But you're stuck in silver because you're mopping the floor, rushing your shots, and you're afraid to take fights as Reyna. Like, just change your your approach to the game. Like, I knew you were going to own. I just had to incentivize you. Speaking of, we got to give away four tier threes. Do you have any requests, Dr. Turnip? Nom use. Boom. Boom. Anybody else? Not that I can think of. All right, guys. Sorry. That's it. Just one. Dr. Turnip. No, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, Crush Force X says me. Mm. Member since January. No rank linked. So you haven't submitted a VOD. Hmm. How about we play marbles? I don't know why, but whenever I open Steam, I don't get a loading animation or anything. And then it just opens. <laughs> If a tier three wins marbles, then they get to pick. Yeah. I'm going to have to open my Twitch chat. This has got like Twitch chat integration, right? Damn, did I just download a six gigabyte patch or what? Yo, what's up, Twitch chat? Uh, 
grace. How do we... Do you guys have preferences? Cosmic Chaos looks cool. It's two minutes long. That's kind of good. I gotta use the bathroom. Race type viewer. Max racers. I mean, fuck it. How many people we got? Oh, a thousand's the max? Oh, man. How does this work? Uh, I've never done this as a big streamer. Type exclamation mark play. Well, that's easy. Go into Twitch chat and type exclamation mark play. Oh, Twitch is subs only. I'm on it. Okay. Twitch chat is full open. As long as you've been following for at least 10 minutes, you can play right now. Holy fuck. We only have 250 marbles in here. This is a call to action. If you're watching right now, type exclamation mark play in chat. Worst case you win, pick somebody else to get the tier three. Damn, there's so many marbles. Wait, there's a world record? <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. All right, I'm starting at 500 marbles. At 500 marbles, I'm starting regardless of uh, whether or not anybody else joins. Wait, I can do a longer countdown, right? Oh, bet. Race starts in. All right, I'm reading the bathroom. Be right back, chat. How do I like, how do I do this chat? Oh, Icarus games in first. Oh my, there's loop de loops. How do I turn off the names chat? Oh, you guys are all just boosting. Sean Pluto. Has nine energy still. Hasn't even used a boost yet. What a beast. Uh-oh. 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 Not the best line for Sean Pluto. Oh my God. Salem V4 is taking a crazy lead right now. Is it even close? Can anybody catch up? Oh wait, there were barriers though. 
Final obstacle. Oh, good line. Good line. Sailing V4. Uh, how do I even like isolate their messages? User. Sailing V4. Yes. Messages. They've typed yippee back in October. Salem, what is your, uh, what's your discord? You've won. Boom, boom, boom. Salem V4. Wow, well, that's easy. All right, all right. Salem V4 is one. And then we'll go, we'll just do second and third. Dre Mary. Damn, they were boosting. Dre Mary, what's your Discord? Or would you like to give it away? Previously subbed for one month? What did I do? Was it me? Dream Mary's already gone. All right, well, we're just going down the list. Lux Draco. Lux Draco, would you like the gifted tier three? They typed? Oh. We'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back. Don't worry, Lux Draco's in third. Dreamer type it didn't update. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Boo, boo, boo. Someone else wants it. It all them. Because you didn't name anybody, we're just going next. I am tricks. Damn, Trix is way ahead of the pack. It's already in there. There's two of them. Now, this one is sort of the username. Because this one has the parentheses, but it has I am tricks, which sort of feels more related to sort of feels more related to how does how do streamers do this shit? There's totally like better software for getting live messages. Okay, they're the first one. Oh yeah, let me get, let me set the bronze three roll on you for a month. There we go. There we go. Chatterino. Chatterino. Oh. Yeah, we'll set that up later. Can we give them a Marbles Champ Discord roll? We're reaching the Discord roll limit. So until we come up with a good solution to that no how do i close this shit x Ooh. 
Fuge, how are you doing, Linky Pinky? That's weird behavior. See you in an hour. I've got IRL friends who asked me that. Yeah, we're getting ready to do lunch rank, Alamancer. I was buying a bit of time. Buying a bit of time because we ended turnip early. Uh, we are actually wait one sec. Before I forget that, that one's a tuber. Okay, difference between how are you and what's up not much and they're both pretty dead but how are you is like a bit more personal feeling i ignore both of them they're both dead messages but what's up is more like a, a hello so it's easier to ignore i guess It's like a high, you know? Like people say what's up all the time when they greet their dudes. All right, chat. We're starting a segment which is quite popular among the uh the viewers here. If you're new to the stream, you probably haven't seen this segment before because it doesn't go up on YouTube. Maybe it should go up on YouTube though, because it's gas. This is a segment where I go make lunch, I come back, and I eat lunch. That's right. Mukbang stream. But what do I do while I'm eating? You play ranked on stream in front of all of my viewers. We roll swap. You get to be the streamer. I get to be the viewer. And it's really funny because you experience an incredible amount of pressure and nerves. And it's just fun all around. So if you want to play live in front of 2000 viewers right now, join the discord and enter this raffle. The only requirement is that you have to be able to screen share on discord. That's it. And you've got to be able to play ranked right now. That's it. And you'll be our entertainment while I eat my lunch. Plus, you'll feel a lot less nervous in your future rank games. I can guarantee it. Can I enter? Pick someone else if I win? No. If you enter and you don't want to play, I skip you. You cannot enter on behalf of somebody else. Who's going to ask why APAC is 50 ticket increase? Yeah, because they won the most recent Fun Day Friday. And Fun Day Friday has been on pause until summer break. Because it's a bit high effort for the tier threes to participate in it. So we're going to bring it back with a bang. When uh, summer break kicks off. This is what, May, June? Oh my, we have a hundred entries. Everyone wants to play ranked. Do you have to be a certain rank? Nope. You just have to be willing to queue up. Remind them of the redeem. 
Oh yes, if you have 500,000 huge bucks, then you can skip this lunchtime raffle and just yoink it and play. It's pricey, but it guarantees you win. redeem for someone else to play no redemptions are for you you can't redeem somebody else a tier three coin flip can't redeem somebody else lunch like zendikar can't just be going around skipping every the raffle for everybody how do people get so many huge bucks i'm hovering it at 400 i mean you just got some by chatting but i would say because i don't recognize your name punfish you don't chat much at all so more chatting and more gambling. Gamble successfully. It's easy. Who's playing? ECL, Gecko Arc, Immortal 2, bet. Hop and drag me. Yo! Hello. How's it going? You feeling confident? game of the day <laughs> nobody's ever feeling confident for these chat i'm i'm leaning towards doubt already i'm starting the prediction five oh they for the tier three does ecl win yes or no prediction is up we are queuing up you want to show the career tab so people can make a more educated decision hey yep i have one win, Ooh. one loss, one win, one loss. More or less. Well, what were we last at? Like Immortal 3? Uh, yep. Bad. But Ooh, I'm Immortal 2. I'm... Oh, damn. You've actually improved a lot then. Because with the the percentile changes, Immortal 2, this act is way higher than it was last act. Yeah, I reached like top 3000, but yeah, I had uh, bad uh, games. <laughs> I see that you've got a full triangle. Yep. And the queues are very long like these days. So it might take yeah. like two minutes. Oh, that's short, so. dude. I feel you. I'm going to yeah. send it three uh, and I had a 10 minute queue the other day. Yeah, but you have like Radiant MMR. No? <laughs> Still, dude, 10 minutes is so long. <laughs> All right, I'm going to meet on Discord. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Go get him. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Okay, chat. Is Zendikar always bets on loss? The people always are nervous. Who's feeling the nerves? Just have their application minimized. We can't see the game at all when it's minimized, by the way. Just a heads up. Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's I was good. watching like the stream because I only have one monitor. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't want to watch the stream. You'll get nervous. Yeah, but uh, we are waiting, bro. <laughs> uh, are you nervous? Are you nervous? Are you uh, you calm? Uh, a little bit only. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. No, but uh, I think like after two rounds, I can get into the game. Okay. Okay. Bet. You've heard it here, chat. ECL's a little nervous, but he thinks he's going to be able to recover after a couple of rounds. Two minutes in and I'm going to go make a sandwich. Give me a moment, chat. I'll be right back.
Match found. Someone has a potato PC. Yo! Wait, he's on his gecko arc and he's picking fade? My sandwiches are in the, the toaster chat. Alright, get on site. Yeah, gecko's not even bad on this map. Uh if you wanna know though, if you're playing recon on this map. So here's my professional opinion, and I'll be talking about this in the guide. While Fade has a lot of merit, and she's very good, especially when your duelist is playing Raze, on this map, there's this piece of shit Cypher who's just really meta, and he throws this trip on B that's unbreakable. And for solo queue agency, it's almost a necessity if you're a recon main that you're going to have to play Sova on this map because it's just too important that we can break this trip. It's just too important. And we can't rely on somebody else to do that in solo queue. And Sova's also just good on this map. There's lots of tech that I can teach you. So you're almost certainly going to be picking Sova on this map if you're a recon main. Because this this dart in particular is just too annoying. It's too important. Can Breach also break it? Breach is not a um, recon initiator. We're talking about recon here. Multiple enemies. Yeah, still on top and low. Please don't skip on fade tech for the guy though. I will. You shouldn't be playing her. You'll be playing Whoa, Sova. You already know I do not cater to people who one trick an agent. I cater to people who one trick a role. If you choose to one trick an agent, that's on you. I don't care. Like, tough. You you went against my advice. Don't expect my content to support you doing that. What a shot. Just like all the people on the Breeze guide, like actually huge. I want to play Breach or whatever. It's like, dude. We got this. What about KO versus Breach? Timing you out. Let's contact A. Let's contact A. 
I'm timing you out I mostly because this big, pattern has to stop. Like we can Where get I give a preview sides. to something coming up, and then people just try to milk every answer for every question they have about that thing coming up. I'm like, oh, interesting. They pick Fade. By the way, in this thing that I'm working on, I think we're going to probably pick Sova. I, I, that's that. I don't know. I don't know. I, wait for the guide. Ditch disconnect. Some doc regarding this rank watch party? No, I don't think so. We'll walk up. I only give him 10 minute. minutes. I just don't want people I have to spike. trying to basically get a sunset guide right now. Because I can't give it to you. I think my sandwich is just Give me a sec. You want me to smoke? There is a gap on the right, sorry. No, no, no one's side. No one's side. Wait, just swung out. You have no flank. There's two more guys. Oh, I'll spawn you. Try not to come out. There's no way. Last player still. Nice try. Nice plant. Yeah, we what planted one kill. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bam! Damn. Bad. It is so stupid. And I hate that old button. Their omen may be a nightmare. Got the heated sandwich set? Yep, I made my sandwiches at home Do today to and I put them in the toaster. Try to take a meat. Uh, someone yeah, fall safe. Yep. Uh, omen can just smoke top meat. I will. Uh, oh, there's people usually main one or the other. <laughs> the rolls are very different. And then I will dog market. Sorry. Usually recon players will actually flex to smokes, not to flash. Reloading. Flash is more like a duelist type. Okay, I'm gonna flash this one. Nice one. Oh, close, close, close. Oh, Spike down mid. What? I don't know. My Wouldn't it burn if it's in the filter as long? Nope. Oh, they have. Yeah. That's right, my bad. Uh oh. No, it was my bad. I don't know why my uh, my eye didn't hit him. Cypher, just tell me where they are. I'll do the rest. Gecko, consider flash or recon. Very simple. Does the agent have a flash? Then they're a flasher. I don't care if they can collect info. That's not the question. If they can flash, they're a flasher. Yeah, and they yeah. position like on one. the ground yet. Do you have spike? Maybe give it to me. I can. Right. Necro has a flash, he's Let's a flasher. Up it again. Let's fight the uh, market with the sheriffs. Mm -hmm. going out. Ooh, nice shot. And you feel jet? Jet, jet. When he's pushing, guys. Yeah, say chill, say chill. Thank you. Oh. Sage, I'm below. Yeah, yeah. Can Sage, can you heal me, please? I'm below. Thank you. I think she went Jet back. No, Jet was both on mid. Uh, I mean. Top mid at 50. Left side. Ah. A subject can risk your timeout while our duelist not separated. Mostly because I don't have to separate them. Because duelist mains are all cringe and annoying and they all just one trick, one agent. So I don't even have to think about it. Also, the meta right now is just moving duelist on every map anyways. Go beside the contact. Yep. Contact. Okay. If you want to enter, but duelist just mains mostly just ignore me when I say, uh, yo, main a roll. To get the and then they and just then lock fucking it. jet on... Yeah. I'm split and shit. Or they lock Rage on Breeze. Or Yoru on Icebox. Oh, and I'm like, okay, I whatever. Don't have the camera here, or... You guys do you. I, I just do his means around top. No, 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 no. You guys would hate me if I was Riot Games, because I, I wouldn't let that role exist. 
I think it's a dumb roll. Where's the uh, outspawn? They don't have smokes. I have the flank, don't worry. Dink it, dink it. If you want a flash, they, they don't have smokes. We can play on main, actually. Yeah, we have my flash too. Someone is B. Why did you delete the duelist role? Because I think it's dumb. <laughs> Having a role that people want to play more than any other role inherently creates this annoying dynamic of like it's just annoying. You you queue up ranked and you just hope you didn't get too many duelist mains. Because if you queue up ranked and you get three duelist mains, oh well. Guess we're just fucked. Somebody's gonna fill onto smokes and be terrible, or we'll have no smokes. Either way, it's annoying. The role is too fun. Too many people main it because of that. Have you ever played Overwatch? If you queued up for Overwatch and you mained DPS, it's the same problem. Your queue time was seven gajillion years. Because the role's too fun. It just shouldn't exist. Yeah. And you bring the spike, maybe throw it just shouldn't exist. The, a role that's way more appealing than the other ones in terms of like enjoyment for the average player is just it makes it so hard to play the game as a strategy game because you almost never get good team comps until Radiant. No, he's wrong. Where are you guys? Like until Radiant, you're just gonna see dumb comps every game, which it sucks for most players. The only people it doesn't suck for are the goddamn duelists who just insta lock Reyna and they don't care. Is that a problem? The role was gone and it would still happen with whatever major meta agents are in right now? I don't think so. I think all the other roles are pretty similarly fun in different ways. But duelist has like... It has this annoying term associated with it. Agency. Which attracts a lot of people to it. Behind. Oh shit! In the corner. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm going B. Yep, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Typer gonna be there. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, Typer is here. I think. Yeah, people also just like to move fast. I, I think it's dumb. The is for market. If you have an option that's not supporting, people will take it. Look at League of Legends, it's the opposite. In League of Legends, there's four fun roles and there's one support role. Guess which role nobody plays. I will mark it. One was mid. Okay. In Valorant, there's one fun role and three or four support roles. I'm using fun very um generally here. I personally don't find duelist more fun but you get what i'm saying One, two. support pick race higher than jungle right now really if you remove duo queues is that still true like if we talk solo queue pick rate oh nice he dies i feel like people would because i can see people duo queuing bot lane Just play for me again. Can you can you smoke top mid? Yep. Maybe give say it's the Jungle's is really bad right now? Okay. In my day, jungle was giga yeah. giga okay. carry roll. Okay, let's play. Oh, Anyways, it's the same problem. That's why you wouldn't like me at Riot Games. Or maybe you would. I don't know. Then the game would be a lot simpler if nobody could pick duelists and everyone had to pick agents that have nice supportive utility that help the team. I don't care if we have three flash initiators. That's fine. I can work around that. But when I've got King Jet Reyna Rays, I'm crying. Okay. Go back. Go back. Oh, they dashed. Dash, I think. Uh, they cannot clear you. Uh, I have. Oh. Have keys. So I oh. Didn't you run five duels in premiere? Yeah, show a team comp. Doesn't matter much. Not because I enjoy playing duelist. I attacked one. I don't get what you're saying either, because you're basically 
doing um ad hominem it's like saying oh you hate capitalism then why do you have an expensive home that's not a valid argument or like oh you dislike amazon then why do you buy a package from them that's not how it works you're you can exist and interact with society and also dislike how it's structured and speak against it it's not hypocritical to do that and people who say it is hypocritical are arguing in bad faith or just don't understand how to argue doesn't matter if i play duelist doesn't matter if i enjoy duelist you have to argue against my argument not against me as a person you can't be like but woohoo jin you play duelist or whatever because that shouldn't matter i have the spike hello by the team comp cope i just don't like having filled smoke street and people feel obligated to do it if duelist didn't exist mathematically speaking you're more likely to get somebody on smokes who actually mains the role agreed like if we take 30 percent of the player base and now they have to main smokes sentinel recon or flash then there will be a lot more smokes mains got it i like having a smokes main on my team and I don't like having a filled smoke player on my team. So it's not team comp cope. In fact, I'd rather have the three duelists on their main roles. But if I have to pick between three duelists and a smokes and a recon and a duelist, and either way they're all on their mains, I'm taking the smokes. You feel? So the problem is nobody main smokes because the duelist rolls way too fucking fun. Oh, nothing, nothing. With the money. Yeah, last time Cypher was playing here. There. Maybe if, if we push B again, he might be there still. Let's play default on mid. As Pi's playing Viper, how meta she is? Then maybe you're not a smoke man. You should try recon. Because recon shares a lot of play style with controller, but it drops a lot of the parts about Viper that you may not like. Where you wanna go? Typhro gonna. Yeah, side us. Okay, go B. Let's go B. Yeah. Fuck it. One enemy remains. Take the arm, bro. Yep. And you can plant the one. Okay. No. Nice. <laughs> no, he was talking about me getting old. No, no, uh, me and Omen, we, uh, we... <laughs> it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So weird. I meet you, bro. <laughs> no. Well, I said enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on an eco now. Maybe they push something. I will change my eye because they, they are breaking it. I will put it here. Not eating. No, no, Wash my hands. Let me let me hear, please, please. Bro, and I was thinking while I'm going, you know when like a new agent comes out? It's so annoying when it's a duelist. Like when a new agent comes out and they're um like a smokes agent, like harbor. You'll have like you'll have the initial wave for like a week of people like, oh, I'm gonna play harbor only or whatever. But then it's like, okay, this is a new controller. We'll play them on Harbor Maps. When a new fucking duelist comes out, people will pre-name themselves to that duelist name, hashtag main and shit. With, with like movement. Never got that with ISO? Yeah, because ISO doesn't have movement. It's the movement duelists, the fun ones. Like Neon. 
But when they have movement, they immediately are like the agent for like forever. Can you put the camera on the right? But yeah, but don't put, don't use it. Don't use it. You know, it's so long ago though. Yeah, and I'm not looking forward to the next movement duelist that can like can dash or some shit. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm flashing left. I'm flashing left. Left. Okay, nice one. Two more. Dink it, dink it. On top. Oh fuck, Kunis close now. When did we last get a movement duelist? Um, depends if you count Yoru, I believe. Just fight mid. I think Yoru came after Neon, right? I don't remember. Nice. But like generally the duelists spawn like one tricks who main that duelist while the new agents rarely spawn those like for fade we have z tall but that's like it for neon you can name like 10 plus people in radiant same with the oru It came two years after Euro to ease. I've got no. You got such good content though. Yeah, exactly. Which is why it's dumb. The the duelists just get more eyes on them. That's why the role shouldn't exist. Because also, if you're trying to be like a content creator, but you want to stream gameplay, more people watch me play raise than would watch me play Sova. Like it's just this is how it is. It's dumb. Like, they should remove them, dude. Sage, we can buy you. Maybe Jet can buy you an operator if you want on full shield. Can someone get this? Jet, My viewership even during the in-house streams goes up when I play movement duelist. No, Gakusha, I don't care about your anecdotal point. I have objective data on this. When I play duelist in the in-houses, my viewership literally goes up 20%. Like, that's fact. <laughs> okay, Jet is out. He went out. Spike? I'll take it, yeah. It doesn't matter that you prefer my smokes gameplay. Come in. Jet was pushing uh, B, but I don't know what is. Do we have elbow? Uh, no, I didn't. Do okay, that. okay. No flash for elbow. Bring them down. Bring them down. I'm beyond sight. He's probably TP, yeah. If you remove boof into list, the game gets even closer to Counter Strike. Yeah, I'd say okay, in a good I mean, way. Again, this is why you wouldn't want me balancing the game. Because I'm a, I'm a monster. I'd also remove Chamber. Because he's too dualisty. I mean, you know that already. All the dualist streamers back when Chamber wasn't nerfed yet, they flexed to Chamber as their okay, Sentinel fill. <laughs> right off the up. Sides. Applies to pro play, the duelist pros bring the most views. Yeah, yeah. All the most popular pro players. They all main duelist. I'd say one of the exceptions as a streamer is Som. But he also plays a lot of duelist. Yeah, but he's very entertaining though. Make it if someone asks it for it, okay? Because you reveal just telling enemy. Nats? Nah, Nats pulls way less viewers than uh, his duelist counterparts. About us. Don't reveal without goal, please. Not my go Xander pulls way less viewers. Xander averages like a thousand viewers. I'm, I'm saying now. Okay, okay, okay. Is it A? People B. B? I mean, I hate to Average yeah. Jonas? Yeah, Kaide? No, Kaide's a personality. I see Kaide oh, like... um. That's like Josh Seki or something. You don't watch her to see the pinnacle of Valorant performance. You watch her because she's Kaide and you like Kaide. Close. Yep. Yeah. Uh, default side. Uh, Jet was Where's Ludwig like... Land? Same as Kaide. You don't watch him for the pinnacle of Valorant like, performance. You watch him because he's Ludwig. When you're watching for like the peak performance, on average, the audience goes to the duelist mains. 
What about Tens who's playing Smokes now? Why do you think his audience grew, dude? Like, come on. Use an ounce of your brain. He became the biggest streamer in the Valorant scene because he mained Duelist. Come on, dude. And he also pretty much just plays Duelist on stream still. Come on. Tarek, he mains Jet. No, I'm going to start timing people out for a day. Wait, 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 you, wait. you just named yeah, a Jet main. Yep, yep. Pushing me one guy. As somehow a counterpoint. Yeah, it's <laughs> probably it. a. Yeah. <laughs> what? Raise jet. Wait, 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 wait. It was 0 4, then 5 4, and now it's 5 8, which means now it's going to be 10 8. On top of the box. Spike planted. I got an 800 on my math SATs. I'm real good at these, uh, complete the sequence. Come in with you, Cypher. You consider FNS? Bro, what Finesse has way less viewers than his duo partner, who plays side, duelist side. mostly. Like. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, Finesse pulls it, it, way lower have, viewers uh, than a duelist yeah, main does at his me. level. Finesse is one of the best IGLs in the me. world. Just giving okay. Now let's name some of the best duelists in the world. In Who has more viewers? <laughs> the duelists. <laughs> yeah, Boaster. One of the best smokes in the world. He gets less viewers than the duelist. But like, whatever. I think Boaster's an exception. He's not. He only gets like 3k viewers. Maybe in your head you think that's a large number. Seems but to be nothing, eh? the duelist mains pull yeah. way more than that. Let's just check who's live right now. One step, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. One, another one, mid, another one. Sure, here's Sabroza. Sabroza's not even an active pro. Yeah, mid in front of the door. Yeah. No, the door is closed. Door is closed. But he mains Phoenix. And duelist. And he has more than Boaster averages. Even though Boaster's like an active top pro. Grind to Radiant. I don't know who this is, but they're playing Reyna. 4.4k. Like, Jet, Raze, Chamber, Reyna, Jet, Reyna, one Omen player. Like, Come on. Literally, we just went through the... What was that? The top six live right now are playing Jet, Reyna, Raze, Chamber. Those agents are what gets the views because it's what people play. People watch what they play because they want to learn or emulate. I'm going to green mid, but if I did... Jet, can you play top mid to fast rotate I think Cypher and me are good. Special Buster averages 2.223 thousand viewers. Yeah, exactly. Here. What about yeah. Kyo? I'm just timing you out. Oh, nice. First of all, we're talking like the 10,000 plus viewer streamers. He's not Kyo. He averages like 700. Second of all, what the guy just does smurfing content. Exactly <laughs> he not that you don't go to Kyo to see the pinnacle of Valorant performance. <laughs> That'd be like coming to my Raise to Radiant streams to see the pinnacle of Valorant performance. Like, come on, I suck at Raise. You come to the Raise to Radiant streams to watch me struggle. Opposite of Hooch balancing and simply turn all the agents into duelists. That's basically what League of Legends did. If you play much League of Legends, champions used to be like, there were a lot of boring champions, but League of Legends has pretty much only released really fun, high movement, complicated champions for the past five years on average in every role. And it's one of the reasons why I quit that game. But they took top lane, which was like notorious for being pretty boring and slow and tanky, 
and they add champions like King Yasuo, Yone into the mix and all of a sudden people are like holy shit these guys are fun and I can play them top like movement used to be a tool that like the carry would have to kite the tanks but now movement is a tool that the tanks have to just murder the carries instantly and so they had to give the carries more tools so that they don't get murdered instantly they gave an arms race which is why i really like the valorant development team because the valorant development team mostly nerf things if you look at valorant two years ago everything was stronger you look at league of legends two years ago everything was weaker and in my opinion a negative power creep is a far more enjoyable experience for now i'm just timing you out of course for now what's up with this fucking random thought process where you just assume it gets worse in the future no shit for now i can't see the future all we can do is see the current trend and then extrapolate no no both side like what's up with this doomer take of oh it could get worse tomorrow though who's no shit make their fear your weapon I'm just working with the data we got. Let's stack A, stack A, stack A. Yep. Let me destroy, like, always the, the camera. Yeah. Don't show Quick, everyone extrapolate. I mean, extrapolating can be fine as long as it's, it's data-driven, right? If the data, if the chart of, like, agent strength looks like this, and then you extrapolate in 2028 that the point could be here then i'm gonna be pissed at you yeah <laughs> right because like w under what context does that happen it's random doomer thing you're like well in worst case actually each jet will have five smokes and two dashes chamber tiles like, yeah, okay. Bet. I'll main jet again. Headshot 126. They're going to be, I think. Bring back double raise nade. It's important. <laughs> Maybe then I'll finally use the ability. I agree. I think they need to bring back double raise nade so that I actually use my fucking nade. Not kill. Close, close, every close, time close. I watch my gameplay back, I'm so embarrassed at my lack of nade usage. Match point. What will it be this time? Don't buy you should have naded first, dude, right? And the annoying thing is you watch me play Sova and I'll just huck those shock darts for zero damage all over the place. It's like I have the muscle. I just don't. I can't flex the muscle when I'm on race. <laughs> Pisses me off. Smoke A. We'll get there. We'll get there. Jumped. One, one slink. One slink close to you. Not in this one. Dead. Okay, minus 120. Oh, close. Ah, the Okay. Jet pushing. Okay. 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 But ECL could be way more vocal on this uh, role. Can you play Ace, Ace? Let's play Ace a little ECL's bit. ECL's pre-rounding is you. fabulous. His mid-rounding mostly consists of calling locations and not demanding. And I think initiators in particular need to be very demanding, almost like bossy of their teammates. So they're like on the retake. Yo, Jack, come CT with me. Let's double hold. Not 
I think that's a mid smoke. Smoked up mid. Important Defense property of high rated smoke. initiators. I'll find you. One spot on mid. Stay, Cypher, stay. Yes. Still more proactive than half the initiators team rank. Well, yeah, because you're also an immortal too. <laughs> half the initiators you get are filling. No, it's close, close, coming, coming. No charges. No. Once. Like there, our jet just swung alone, and we just fought alone. Three on mid. I know exactly. And as the initiator, the onus is sort of on us to control the duelist, not the other way around. Oh my god. Spike planted. Oh. GG's. Nice try. Nice try. <sighs> My like quick cliff notes for you, I, you got unlucky. You're, the enemy jet has four times as many kills as yours. But in the <laughs> mid round, you need to like, you almost have to boss around your duelist a bit more to coordinate with you. Yeah, I think that's I, the I initiator's to, job. To submit a bot like a Soba bot, but I didn't get uh, selected on the raffle. <laughs> so I just like lost my, like the, the bot. But yeah. Yeah, I think it's more like, you're uh, going CT on that retake and you fought the guy back gen or whatever. Like while you're yeah. coming CT, you should be telling the dude who's already there like, hey, I'll come CT, let's double hold together or something. Like that's what I feel like initiators do most frequently in rating. You like call those double holds, those double swings. Okay. okay. I think if you Thank do you. that, you'll climb even more. Nice try though. Uh, dude, what uh, the I will, fuck? 36? I will submit a vote in the, in the close future. In the Bet. future. Bet. See you soon. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Sage had six first bloods. Yeah, no, we got jet diffed. I don't think he could have won that game, to be clear. But we have we had room to play better. All right. We're moving on to VOD review. If you have a VOD you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to the Discord at discord.gg slash go to the raffles and predictions channel and click the enter raffle button. In order to enter the raffle, you need an approved VOD. To get an approved VOD, got to read all the rules in the VOD review rules subscribe channel. Got to submit a VOD in the VOD submission channel that follows all of those rules. There, my lovely moderation volunteer team. Ooh, they got quite the queue right now. We'll review your submission, make sure it follows all of the rules. If it does, you'll get the VOD approved roll for one week. That will allow you to enter the raffles during the free VOD review streams. You can click the events tab at the top of the Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. During the VOD review streams, I will run at least one raffle. Boop, 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 boop. Zami skipping line. Yes. Drop the vibe, Zami. Zami has a line skip chat. Boop, 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 boop. He won it during uh, a watch party. Who do you watch on Neon Ascent? Who's your um, reference point? Frank FWM. Who the hell is that? Why am I on mobile Twitch right now? I just need to get a feel for this guy's play style. Neon's just a unique agent, so...
Yeah, it's one way up. I'm gonna TP. I'm gonna TP. You still wanna fight this? I can blind him. Yeah, go ahead. I hate supports like that, by the way. Instead of saying, you still wanna fight this? I can blind him. I want the big dick supports that go, I'm flashing, fight him. <laughs> That's what any like pro would do. Why are you asking, man? Okay, I got an idea of defense. Always. Always. One more time, man. Let me look at attack. Or do we even go attack? This VOD is really short. Yeah, we'll get like one round. There, there were both. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, does Zambi have notes? You know, it's the best play. It's not about that, Braden. It's also, yeah, they do have that confidence because they're a pro and whatnot. But like, you need to, you don't want to ask questions in mid round like that. <laughs> you need to be um, assertive and quick at the top level. Let's do it. Do you wanna you wanna peek jiggle a little bit bay for me? We have a fucking harbor. Grenade! I only have yeah, two. Smoke's B, smoke's B. Oh. B, smoke's B. Oh. I only have yeah, two. Smoke's B, smoke's B. Zimmy, you are losing so much speed with this yee yee ass air strafing that this raise with no speed buff is still in front of your ass. Going oh Careful now. Get locked. Logs, logs, logs. Suck logs. Logs dead. Last main, main, main. Thank you. By your neon? Yeah. Because I'm him. One tiles, I think. I'm coming to you, Sova. Standing ahead. One enemy remaining. Go, go, go! Tiles, last. Okay. So, this is always the hardest thing for people who are getting up in the middle tier, like higher tier ranks. You need to get into a mindset where you play around the fog of war better. So right now, I'm going to color in um, red where we have unknowns, okay? okay so this is like unknown information but like let's look at what we've seen so far the enemy had one tiles we've killed their potential lurker number one and there's their potential lurker number two okay so in my head Sova is 1 million percent B main or tiles. And I'm just going to call my Sova out and we're just going to push out. I'm not worried at all about top mid. Top mid doesn't make any sense right now. It doesn't make any sense. One enemy remaining. Like I, first of all, your clear is also ass. Crusher goes here, but like they're not there, dude. If they're there, you, you you die. Just let one guy die. Like, you're not losing the round. It's fine. At a certain point, you need to be less thorough. And that is this point. Tiles, less. Oh, bet. So I just throw a cat. No worries. Just send it. By mid. Yeah. Okay. So now... 
We see one here. Our sofa's picking a main, and there's nothing tiles. So now they're either 1 4, which is possible, but generally when you 1 4, your tiles. So more likely, they're like 1 3 1, or 1 2 2. So top mid. So you need to push through tiles like yesterday. And I need to fight top our harbor's got her back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the oh, they're back. Switch inside. Switch inside. Switch inside. Switch is dead. Bet. One zero one. Both gen. Both gen. We just all go heaven together. Jen, 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 help. Jen, mind you. Player standing. Jen, 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 help. Jen, mind you. Player standing. Yeah, top. Good eco. But why are you playing this angle? Does what's his face play this angle? Frank, whatever his name is. How does he get off this angle if they're scaling? So let's say you kill one. What does he do after he kills one? Doesn't play that angle at all? Oh. Why are you doing it? Enemy spotted me. What do you raise? Cypher still be mid. First 10 seconds, Emmy, is opening theory. You, no making shit up in the first 10 seconds. The moment. We're past that. It's middle game and it's a completely new round and you can do whatever you want. I mean, whatever you think is best. Hey, right, this looks really good. I like this. Wall yourself, wall yourself. It works very consistently for me. I get out with wall. Yes, Zami. And when I first learned chess, I played at the chess club at my local library and my favorite opening was I would play the black pieces. I preferred black. Let me flip this board. Is when my opponent would open e4, I would open d5, they would take, and I would play bishop g4, and then they would do something like this, and I would take their queen. I won a trophy for my age group at the local library chess club with this as my secret weapon. Okay. It worked very consistently for me. Does that make it good? No, no, it doesn't. And if I had a proper instructor, which I didn't, they would have immediately removed this from my play immediately, right? Because we don't play to win against our current opponents. We play to rank up. Playing on this box, the reason why it's working totally fine for you right now is because you haven't had to play against this and i'm going to show you i'm going to show you all the annoying things that are going to kick you off this angle that are going to eventually lead to you having to change this play style i will find them but just not yet because we're not high enough elo yet but it's a bad you just shouldn't do it because you're you're not getting reps in on proper play Jet look left and right dash. No, we, we no would actually thing. kill the jet if they drive swung this. Stake. This is our day. My ult is ready. But like any A rush is gonna have this start. Revealing area. Which you're gonna break if you're really fast. But now they're gonna know your right side because you have to break that dart you can't tuck anywhere to hide from it because we're out and so now that they know your right side they're gonna drone take flight they're gonna tag you and now you're going to die because you can't go anywhere 
so after you break that dart you just have to run away you give up your angle make noise running wherever you're running to but you won't have time to reposition because the enemy team along with this silver dart their jet is updrafting over this and coming over here to dash out their omen has flashed right main and so you're actually going to be out here if you try repositioning in the open where you're going to go one for one at best if you go one for one one for one one for one bam 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 it is now 2v2 retake which is winning for the attackers on ascent a map which is defender sided now i just made a billion assumptions about how they're going to attack and how the training's going to go and whatnot but the the tldr is don't make shit up it is going to bite you in the future and it's going to be annoying to fix uh, unless you're like happy with being stuck in some other rank now that rank is probably higher than diamond 2 i'll give that to you but you definitely will not be able to hit radiant definitely not like high immortal either with this type of you you would have to get this out of your uh fingers uh, this yeah. angle is great for like maybe an eco strat or if you recognize like these guys are playing poorly on their a hits like if you just pre-round calm and be like they dry peaked a main last round i'm gonna play up here then you're a beast one a main if they woke up I'm I hear 3B. Okay, we come cat. Cypher still be mid. Yep, yep. We watch help. this. We watch this. I only see Cypher's like, mid. It's only him. The scan tree. Don't spot. Dead. Okay. So you're gonna anchor A. Uh, don't buy. Wouldn't like it. He probably would want you tree. I don't mind. But we need to be more careful. Cause you're you're way overexposed. Oh, up A, up A. Yeah, sort of like that. What the hell? Um. This one. Gotta go. Okay. Don't die for the side. I got all. Found them. Enemy spotted mid. Really, we're playing five v five retake right here. with weak guns just because we have a harbor roll. I mean, you're following the call. I'm not mad at you. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? I don't care about that round. We need to go tiles or top mid -race? Nothing beat. Sounds like a Okay. So you want to fight a main? I think you should fight a main. I fuck with it a lot. But I think holding from here is pretty insecure. I think I would hold over here. We switched to Neon. 30 seconds left. Listen up. Kill them before they kill us. Duelists have tools that let them play a bit more aggressively than other agents. A Sova player would never be caught alive over here. But Neon, after you kill one, you throw the stun and you tuck to your left, and it's actually not bad. The fang pattern, as they say. Because now you can run out. Not they're stunned. This type of angle is very susceptible. So it's just getting pre-aimed. You're just going to get shit on. Peeker's advantage. Also, they can just silent jump up here. So you're you're dead to... You're dead to two guys. You're dead to pre-aim Andy. Who has their perfect crosshair lineup. And you're dead to... Silent Sam. Who knows how to jump up here quietly. So is this going to be better if we come over here? This is also way more awkward for this guy. This guy jumping up, actually, if they're not, if they're not aware enough, they're actually going to expose their shoulder to you when they do this. Well, you got to be very careful when you peek up here. If they come out like this, you actually have angle advantage 
and you can kill that guy stun yes. and get out so keep in mind you have this tool this stun this stun will allow you to play more aggressive angles don't hug this wall hugging this wall is good when you have the one-way smoke because now they can't fight you but when you're committing to a fight i want you to get wider where you have a bit of leeway against the trade kill yes. stun if they swing and get stunned kill another and get out of there okay I don't like how tight we are. Nothing beat. Also, we just get jump spot, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so it's like a fallback. Uh, One thousand, two tiles, two tiles. Right here. Next. Camera taken out. One, one broke M and B. I'm blind. There they are. He just died. One I'm blind. Boom. We'll play right here. Um, it's the blue door. There. Ask them. They are. Which any tips on beating pre-aim Andy's? Nero, you are bronze. I guarantee you, people are not pre-aiming you properly and one-tapping you. I guarantee it. If you don't believe me. Rewind the YouTube stream and go watch the low elo coaching segment in the morning where we had a silver viewer play a rank game. It's, this is not a thing. You, you just need to click their head. You're overthinking it. You're not aiming for their head and clicking. If you are, then you're not moving well. And if you are moving well and aiming for the head, then your aim is shit and you need to aim train more. Those are the only three possible issues you have. Deathmatch not ranked doesn't fucking matter. When do I tell you to win deathmatch? As a bronze player, I don't. Wait for me, I flank. Just I use flank. it to practice your movement, your aim, your gunfight. Hygiene. Don't peek, don't peek, don't peek. I have two, I have two. Your comms. Going back to us. Oh, oh, three three. I'm letting lane, it lane. slide. Right. Because actually, normally I call people out for that chat, but I'm dead ass right now. Zami's aim is fine. This is a one in a hundred for Zami. I'm pretty sure. It looks like it. Going back to us. Correct me if I'm wrong, Zami, but I think this is actually um, I think this is unlucky for you. I don't think this is common. Your aim looks fine. It is. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can tell because I've been there too. Like I've whiffed like that too, but I have good aim as How well. I can tell. It's, it's not an aim issue. I'm skipping it. Tiles. Walling him in. Okay, 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 okay. Good kill. Lots of main. Nothing B. Tiles. But now, the worst thing you could possibly do is swing. With no stun or anything. You feel me? I need you to remember on defense. What's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, well, of course, dying for free, but one for one favors the attackers. Okay. Keep that in mind. If I just keep crossing out people one by one, we'll trade Harbor off too. It's good for the attackers because now they get bomb site. They get bombed down and consider bomb plant is plus one dude. So the resulting situation is they have three guys versus two guys. One for ones are bad. This is a great kill. You use your stun to fight them from an off angle. I like it a lot. Now let's let's live. Let's go to a new angle. Maybe we go double up with Sova. Walling him in. The begins. Yeah, you got forced to double up with Sova. Give me out, give me out. Which is lit. Right here. Okay, relax, 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 relax. We have raise rocket. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm using brimstone smokes because they're easier to see on the map. Not because they have a brimstone and not because it matters. Raise harbor cipher. Okay. Okay. In this scenario, we've 
the enemy team has site control already pretty much this scenario can happen where they have any number of people alive okay one through five what a pro player is doing in this scenario is they're waiting this guy to throw their nade and boom bot or for this guy to throw his wall up this guy to cam and then you're stunning and sliding out you're creating space for the team do you remember the retake uh okay we're at 929 where it was 3v2 so oh. you slid out like a beast yeah it was it was round two to zero and we barely oh, lost the we grouped up heaven your teammates were with you you slid out made space and then they came out to trade this is perfect i want it to look like this when you're retaking this is perfect i don't care how we retake i don't care if it's all heaven i don't care if it's all tree what matters is we're all retaking at the same time together so if we have one on the flank and they were way over here what would we do we would wait heaven a bit for them to get closer and then we would all take together okay i want you to imagine that you are your team's raise right now real quick in your head you want to tell your team wait up i've got rocket for retake we're chilling because if you swing out what are the odds that you enter a favorable situation right now I'm going to give you 150 health too. Let's ignore your health. It's even worse that you're on 60. If you swing out, it's bad. It's bad. Our Sova is not out. So this is called matching intentions with our teammates. Okay, Sammy, you were playing to hold. You got one. But everybody else is not playing to hold. So we fell back tree. I liked that. But now we have to play to retake. And what do we do when we retake? We dump all of our util as a team and flood out as a team is our team ready to do that no so we're not ready to retake and i know you're gonna peek out I can watch one. like yeah you just see you just died i'll rewind and show you they could have come I'm out this. tiles walling him in the they recon it scans you they rain a flash out mute, mute. right here and your sofa backs into a smoke they can literally be out right now i can watch one dead No reason to do this. I mean, it's really lit now. Okay, it's really lit. But Wait, you basically that? hung your bishop, right? You you in, you hung your bishop and you hoped they wouldn't take it because you had plans on taking their queen. Because, yeah, now that you're here, if they come A, you're going to win the round for free. You're going to get, like, three. You'll be a beast. I mean, they're 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 got, they're got, 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 Speaking it's, of, it's just cypher, but you're somewhere. a beast. But here it comes. Oh, top. You, you had your fucking beast mode main. timing, though. Oh, gosh, bro. Yeah. So, rewind. Let's just go to this part. Ray starts satcheling. I need you to throw your util. Throw your wall up. Run out there. Don't make any noise or use util. Silver broke. Start. Give me out. Give me out. Right here. Yeah, they got a scan on you, Zammy. So their silver recon revealed you going this way. Your silver broke the Reina flash, but then backed up into smoke. You definitely do not have enough info here. Who walked through the A main smoke spot silently though? Who said anything about silently? They could have multiple guys out right now because they peaked with the Reina flash. Right here. Walling him in. Give me out, give me out. Like right here at this point. 
I would have heard it though. Right here. I can watch mid. There's no one out with the flash. I really, you have to ask Sova. Is it nobody's coming? Why would he back up? There, there's too many unknowns. Additionally, you playing to hold the site disagrees with all four of your teammates intentions, Sammy. And like, even if we tag one, two, a main right now, it's a bad play to come out. Because we're, our team is clearly positioned for retake. We don't have a guy dice right now. We don't have a guy close left. Our Sova is not lever in front of the smoke. If we have our teammates in these positions, in one of them, then coming out is really justifiable because you're playing with them. Does that make sense? You, you want to match your teammates. Additionally, I do see a window where they walk out here. But it's fine if you don't see that window. Like if you think, oh, they wouldn't try peek through this harbor wall. I think they would because they know they've pushed Sova off and they know they've pushed you off. I, I would easily walk through this as Reyna. But I get you thinking they're not out. But this is still no good. Because you don't need to hold the site. Rolling off main. We're just not ready to play retake. You know, Cypher's not ready, but Raze is just going. We don't use our wall. We don't use our... Because it's all messy. We had all of that time to talk about how we're going to retake. And nobody said anything. Oh, damn. I just whiffied on site. Yeah, you did whiff. But this is also not a fight you want to take, yeah? It's the same idea. Hey, look. Shouldn't we at least stun before we swing? But also we have two guys playing contact lane. And how do they trade this jet? I can't. You want to be fighting the enemies in the cross section of the vision cones that you and your teammates share. So your teammate here has vision of this. When you peek out, you'll have vision of this. So where do you want to fight them? Here. How do we ensure that we fight them there? Well, we need... Conveniently, when they come out, our lane players will see them in that green zone first. If you peek out, there's a world where you see them in this danger zone and we're in trouble. So if I was going to peek out, I would need to stun this danger zone or I would need to have an omen smoke here. If your omen had smoked, then it's fine. Oh, damn. I just... Oh, sorry. Harbor. And there it is. There's the harbor wall. We just didn't wait for it. If he's on site, get switch to switch. So, yeah, you whiffed, but like, look at the round right now and imagine now you swing. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, it'd be, so it'd be so much better. It'd be so much better. Right. Yep. Right. Oh, damn. Like, I just whiffed on now, now you swing. Site, get switch. Then a trip gets activated. You throw your stun. It's so much better. So much better. And then add on top of it that we're higher elo and our Sova actually has a good dart. Thirty seconds. And we eco left. this because the enemy Thrift. team's attacking the poorly. Eyes up. So just like how you will benefit, or like how you'll get hurt in higher elo by keeping these bad plays, you'll also benefit in higher elo by developing better habits, because you're gonna get the Sova now who. Knows how to throw this dart against the B rush while he's playing A, and you're just gonna win the round. 
Sorry. <sighs> One plane in default. Damn, this round's so close, dude. Erase all. Planted. Remaining. Satchel out. Satchel out. Bro, better not lose this with Ray's ult. <laughs> Why did he switch to Sheriff with six bolts? <laughs> it's your fault, Zambi. It's your fault. You can't. You did zero damage this round. You did zero damage. I'm sorry. You remember. Yesterday in ranked, uh, this happened. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yesterday during my rank stream, this happened. Yesterday during my rank stream, shut up, Wuhujin. Shut up, Wuhujin. My God, I can't listen to him. My God, I can't listen to him. Where's the clip? I can't listen to him. Where's the clip? Uh, top seven days, maybe. Uh, top seven days, maybe. Here it is. Okay, look what I did this round. Jack shit. Reina. And my gecko just like murders them all. But then he does this. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like at the end of the day, he killed three with a sheriff. which statistically speaking shouldn't have happened in the first place i killed zero so i don't have any real grounds to be mad because i didn't do anything this round i was worthless this round it's the same here You swung a dry fight with a sheriff. <laughs> what do I do? You don't swing a dry fight with a sheriff. That's what you do. Like if you just played your stun off your dude's contact, you would have won this round. You see that, right? Now, of course, it's easier to see. Hey, if my race just ulted that dumbass, we would have won the round. Because you're dead. And when you're dead, it's so much easier to see the game in like the correct light because you're not playing what do i do about that let's say full responsibility you don't get zero oh uh, wow this raise is a g i take full responsibility what a g say not nah, raise that's my fault i took a dry fight i figured out why my ult wasn't going i didn't have that bitch binded <laughs> wait how did he what? bind it mid-round then like at all <laughs> yeah like i'm pressing oh, yeah. my usual like key bind because i let my so, uh, all good. I just, I just binded it now. So, Zami, you don't say all good to this guy. That's messed up. <clears throat> okay. Right. He just full sprint. I feel you though. I didn't say all good to that gecko. I was pissed too. Hey, wait, look. I know exactly. You said it. You said you don't get punished for this yet. Hey, wait. You just had to burn both stuns and your slide just to live. Hey. Hey. Cypher, tree. Hey, and they droned you. Oh. Out. Hey! Hey, you said you said it works. Last player standing. Go, go, go! I mean, surely go for it. Okay, you're faking the save or something. Okay. This way. One enemy remaining. Okay. Might be on Jen. Might be on Jen. I think he's left side main. He was main, I want to say. He didn't come here to die. <laughs> well, you don't get that. Blind B. Vegan. Reloading. Then you'll turn outside. Good. 
Where's the enemy? Good. Nice. One boathouse. Yup, kill Sova. Man. I told you people call the lever boathouse. I told you, chat. Nice. One boathouse. Man. In sight. Bye, bye. Good round. Go. Get out of my way. Found the spy. Nice. Sure. Go, go, go. The hunt begins. Three of them just peeking. Well done, man. I got off retake. Off, off, Neon, off my ult. Full okay. I'm ulting, go. Harbor's a beast. This harbor is a beast. Oh. Oh, no. Good re oh, that's backside. No, it's neither. I don't care what the mini map says. You never use that com. The reason why you don't use that com is because there's a boat right here and people call this boathouse and they call this boathouse. So if you say boathouse, you're confusing people because some people think it's here. Right here. Incorrectly. They incorrectly think it's there. But who fucking cares? Just call it right lever here. or switch right here. and backsight. It doesn't matter who's technically correct. It doesn't matter. Just call it lever and call it backsight. Right and here. then nobody will be confused. That's what matters. Retake. This round is lit. Planted. But do you see how the round's lit because this guy took the agency to time the retake? This is what we're missing. Uh, I'm gonna walk up. I'm walking up. Folks, I. Nowhere to run. I'd run through this spawn right now. I'm going to this spawn. Yeah. Through this spawn. Follow me, man. 105 jet. Okay. What do we say? You. You. you your shift. Your <clears throat> spike planted. You're clearing top. Jet hit 105. You want to know why you're clearing this corner, Zami? We're about to watch attack half, and I can tell you why you're clearing this corner. Because I've played you in like swift play and on raiders and shit. It's not because you're scared. It's because you're shit at the game, and you like playing here to knife kill people and shit. And so you're like playing against yourself, except you play bad Valorant. And so you need to play good Valorant. So that way you can expect your opponents to play good Valorant. Because they're not there, dude. I'm on break door. We're losing so they're much time. Wait, you just cleared. You just cleared the guy who's playing here. Huh? Here? He was dropping a YouTube link. I like to knife streamers. Exactly, exactly. And I'm going to flex on the they fact... Two I'm going to flex on the fact that I don't turn around. You know why I don't turn around? Because it's statistically unlikely that you're behind me. And so I don't even think about it. Platinum me might have turned around and killed you. Which would have won me one more round. But I don't care about winning this round. I care about ranking up and ignoring unlikely threats results in gaining ELO. Yeah, it results in getting knives like this. Sure. You nice me. Nice. But um, there's a reason pro players get killed by trigger discipline plays That's all the funny. time. Because they're fast. You are slow right now, dude. Too close door, close door. You have no time. Like. See? Look, look how little time you right have. Now. You just lost. Do you see? How much time did we lose? Let's, let's count seconds, man. 
So you stop making noise and you jumped up onto the table here at 1644 on the YouTube clock. Five. And now you're objectively on the flank here at 1723 on the YouTube clock. That's 40 seconds, 39 seconds. How long should it have actually taken? I'd probably start shift walking here with my knife out. Clear like this, nice and lazy. And then bam, I'm here. I'm guessing that's 10 seconds. Let's call it 15 because it doesn't matter. I'm going to prove my point anyways. 15 seconds from now is bop, bop, bop. I'm there. To be clear, I think it would take me less time than this, but I gave you an additional window just to prove how slow you are. How we could call it 20. Bob. Now I could definitely be here. But look what you're doing. You're clearing this guy. Over a hundred retakes. You're going to win so many more of them by not clearing this guy because you'll have all of that extra time do you see how valuable the extra time is when i pause like this do you see how valuable that 20 seconds would be because now let's go to your clutch right here pause now the bomb that has five seconds left on it let's call it 25 seconds all of a sudden you have so much freedom to clutch this. Off this stun, instead of having to run to the bomb like a, a nervous Andy, you could just pull your rifle out and walk behind the guy. Because you've got 25 seconds left. Well, actually, right now you've got 28 seconds left. So that's the upside. Now, the downside is 1% of the time... You'll die to this guy. Deal or no deal. So you get plus 20 seconds on this flank retake every time. But you die to this guy 1% of the time. Deal or no deal. And, you, and you'll lose the round every time when you die to this guy. And it'll suck because there's nothing you could do. This is why I get mad at people when they worry about unlikely threats. Conveniently here, the upside is so absurdly palpable that the choice is obvious. Okay? You're, you need to take risk. Your unwillingness to take the risk costs you this round. Go, go, go! Are you kidding? Switching Issue of all... They... Sure. Hey, maybe we do go to Cypher then, you're right. Okay. Cypher's on B. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you pre-fire this angle? And you play this angle? Cypher's on B. Alright, hit it. I'm going in. Okay. Gotta go. I'm doubted. Still not having. Okay, my favorite neon play in this configuration. I'm gonna give you permission. Full around the world. Either of these. The reason why is because you're low. When you are low, you've helped your team get sight and you feel like you have some time. Send it. You're 29 HP. Send it. But I need you to take risks, Sammy. I don't want you shift walking here. Okay. You're going to shift walk here. If you push through their spawn and not earlier. Right. I'm under. Holy fuck. You swing heaven. Seven, two, seven. I'm going to wall him off. Nice. I'm under. Best. I'm holding heaven. Hold my tree. I'm holding heaven. 
Just hold my three. Hold my three. What if the risk I take is that I win fights even though I'm low? That is unfortunately not a risk. That's a certain failure. Once you get high enough, you're low. Hate to break it to you. Yeah, the door's not broken. Uh, I'm but the law of big numbers is against you. If we take those fights you just took there a thousand times in Immortal Yellow, you could be tens and you will win maybe 300 times. If you're tens on 29 HP against Immortals. Yeah, I don't think. With that just beat. Make sure they don't. I'm going to wall them up again as soon as that one goes down. Don't be, don't be. One enemy remaining. Seven last, seven last. 30, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be. One. Okay, good. But now, now what? Now what do we do? This was a good off angle, a good kill. I fuck with this. Now what? What's my rule? What's my rule? You killed one and now we have, what's that? Plus two. The only rule here isn't play safe. It isn't play numbers is stay alive for three seconds that's it then you're free to go fight that idiot okay but you broke my rule Enemy remaining. Go, go. Seven left, seven left. you fought that idiot right away all you got to do is stay alive for three seconds and then if you think it's right to fight him fight him okay Sammy. <laughs> but he didn't stay alive for three seconds it got really close cypher Hey, never mind, that's you. <laughs> Woman. Dog never mind, that's you. Jet was B man. I think she left though. So so was a... Can you cascade off? Watch out. I'm out of here. Walls up. Oh my bad wall, bad wall, bad wall. Jesus. Am I this bad at raise? Do you know sorry? Thank you for the tier three. I'm so bad at raise. That this diamond raise is throwing a nade that I don't throw. Shit. Oh my bad wall, bad wall, bad wall. Sorry. Enemy spotted this. It's for CT though. Be clear. This is fine. Uh, is this mid round call good? It doesn't matter. As long as the team's following, you're chilling. I say you went on the market too early. I don't think your team's ready to trade you, but. Be clear. Fine. They trade you. Oh, can find a peek, uh, cubby or bottom mid. Watch out for shock dart. He he shock darts his trip. Decent cap, dude. Spike down B. Cypher's A. Okay. Oh bat. Wait, they're having. Bat. Oh, right on the lane. Right on the lane. Oh, or B, sorry. Harbor. Home and A. Wait, we go. Wait, come in. Come in. Come in. Phantom there, Harbor. Reese. I could put you in the mind of a Radiant and out of the mind of Zami right now. You killed two mid players. You killed the cat player and the market player. Okay. Where is the A site player going? There's two, two places. Towards tree garden? No. Switch or gen? Definitely not switch, dude. Look, look. I mean, it, like when I say definitely not, I mean statistically not. Like, of course they could be switch, but take our A player. This guy died. This guy died. Ba Boom. So now we have, they fought B main, right? Yep. Reina fought and so was a B player. So, bomb, bomb, bomb. Let's think about it. This omen should play for one and to live because he's not going to play to hold site alone. So, switch would not get him one and live. He would get one and done. Hell would be tough for him to live, but he might be there. I would say the most likely is behind this box heaven. 
or just heaven. Uh, bu 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 bu. Let's see. Someone was on site. I've camped. Okay. So Rain is routing tree, which makes sense. So now Omen is almost certainly Evan. Because if we think about it, if Omen is hell, this Reyna would be rushing out to help him hold a sight. Because she's coming tree, she's getting ready to retake. One enemy remaining. This guy dropped the gen. One enemy remaining. Bet. He's on me, CT. Double CT. Yeah. Hit for you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Double CT. Sammy, why you play like this? <laughs> what the hell? Hey. CT. Yeah. Hit 40. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, just, you can double up hell. I will. This uh, we can wait. Shock okay. I'm gonna wait. Personally. Tag. Sniper's not here. No trips. Rain a lane. I can send lane. Ooh, oh, damn, bro. I think she peeked in front. She's just... Oh, she was stairs. She was stairs. Look. This, I'm Look. Out of here. It's the thing. It's the thing, Zami. Reyna's lane. There's a smoke here. Zoop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh, damn, bro. She's just there. I'm going to ult. Team Dev. No. Team Dev. Oh, yeah. It comes straight down from the sky. Yeah, yeah. You just run up here. I go for it. Okay, wait. Yeah, every. Wait, so if it's are cracked in this lobby. I go for it. Your Sova just threw the exact cannon dart I talked about, punishing your neon play. Plus trip, can you need it? Oh, I just used my note. No worries. Break with your own. Oh no, there's trip, 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 trip. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't get I couldn't back up because I had my freaking teammates right behind me. I tried to back up like what eight times. I couldn't get really you tried to back up like eight times. Oh no, there's trip 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 trip. Right there you did, yeah. <laughs> you tried to back up once. <laughs> Bro There's trips and you didn't have left. Why if I suck? You got harbor. Feed quick three the spike. Scanning ahead. Deploying drone. Okay. There we go. Mark it, lit. Right now. Yup. Mark it, mark it, mark it. Yup. Jet stairs, stairs, stairs. On site, on site. Okay, okay. not. Yup. Here, I'll fight CT with you. No, 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 no. I'm lit. They're all lit now. I'll fight CT with you. No, 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 I'm lit. And then you guys swing. It's crazy. Not very, actually. I lied. Conflict is not my first choice, but that choice was made. Get a drop? I was talking to Ray's that was Harbour who said that. Oh, bet. So while they were coming to you and you had your gun out, you looked over here to your left and saw that it was Harbour responding to you? Here, I'll fight CT with you. No, 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 no. 
so while this guy's saying no 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 you're, you're actually looking here and you're going oh that's harbor no big deal bullshit they're all lit now. i recognize his voice what my bad grace doesn't talk okay bet harbor is still saying no he's telling you guys not to fight like who cares they're, they're saying don't fight okay, i'll fight ct with you no 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 what do you think he's saying no to what do you think he's saying no to you think he's saying no to Cypher planting the bomb? I'm lit. They're all lit now. Yeah, look, your harbor felt obligated to fight with you. I don't know why, but he did. Nice. Drop. I just don't I'm like gonna go to the call. back to spawn after this. Okay, take sight, take sight. <laughs> Random mark. That guy, dude. We went tree. One heaven. Watch out. I'm fighting you. <laughs> you have the bomb. I can't wall heaven yet. Walling heaven. Oh, oh, wait, wait. oh, oh, oh mystery, oh, mystery. Sorry? Oh. Oh. I got owned. Hey, break door. I have an out. Nice. In the fact. Need a draw. Frank really goes A main this much? I feel like he would be splitting. Some shit. Why does this guy's ascent fods always cut off early? How do you study this guy? Let's go. There we go. My plan's gonna be late. It's not set in this thumbnail. Probably has a shotgun, right? It's not. Oh my god, bring this way to die. This is it. One bullet, one bullet. Uh -oh. One enemy remaining. There is a scent right here. Let's go. There we go. Oh, it's the start of a, the end of a game. Ooh, I bet. OBS is logging out at Twitch. Okay. Yeah, I can do You got that? No, I'm getting ambitious. Get out of my way. Wait, why the fuck don't you do this? Get back in action. This is sick. Okay. He's getting peak timing with his slide off barrier. This guy's always hash on me. This guy's hash kind of good with that shit. Boom. Let me see his B main routing. Do it anyway. What are they going to yep. do? Should we be like stun I'm gonna stairs? Cypher, can you watch? Damn, yeah, he does that a lot. Oh. Bullshit, you watch this guy. I just learned Neon Tech. He uses his slide right before the barrier drops so that he still has his slide. He gets two slides. Bullshit, you study this guy. You didn't do this once in your VOD. I've never seen this. This is sick. I do that? No, you don't. You brought me a VOD. You don't do that. I'm sure you've done it before, but you don't do that. It's not like something you do. It's something you've done. I'll give you that if you've got a VOD. Oh fuck! I'm tagged. I'm doomed. Bro, you don't route like this at all. What? Is... I was looking at your bot. I'm like, really? You fucking routes like. This is so good. This is so good. Nice straight them. Outlaw! Outlaw! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish we had more uh, uh, Ascent gameplay from this guy but I think that's it I think that's all the Ascent footage we have of this dude Unfortunately
Who the fuck is Iridium buddy in this fucking lobby, bro? That's wait, sad. wait, a four hour VOD with a scent? Wait, so what? Wait, chat. I'm a beast. Nothing peeking. I'm calling Sammy out right now for not actually studying. Wait, two kills raised on defense. Yeah, no. No, bro, whispered the hard R and got away. Yeah. Bro, he does it like every round. <laughs> it's three for three right now with this guy. I'm um, blinding, can't fight. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Joining? No, we're not. I respect you. Stunning heaven. Stunning heaven, huh? Yeah, dice. He's dice. He's dice. I'm gonna run my ass. Here, he's already here. They're not coming with anything. Oh, it's mid. Oh, wait, let's see if he does the thing. Yes, he does. Nothing peeking. Should be too, like, close here. The more I watch this guy, the more I think you don't watch this guy. I don't care about the clutch. No, whisper the heart. You did instantly have to say that shit. Five for five. I guess. Split's mid. He does it every yeah. round, bro. To get unexpected peak timing. This guy's actually a beast. Oh, better market. I can't fight it. White cat, white cat. Go by team, actually. Didn't do it that round. Didn't do it that Boop round. They boop us five. There's three here, bros. Get out. Ah, is it 30 off? Oh, shit. Right. You go. Stone 7. Walls up. Close this door. Maybe Close routes door. into tree. I'm plant. Oh, wow. I don't got bomb. Wait, is it's so per. So you can get up. Stone 7. Walls up. Slides. Close this door. Then either routes this way if he's got a splitter or comes over this way. Up on him. One. Dude, look at that timing. Why is he darting that? Look at the one bot. Based on mid or right now. This guy's a beast! Yo, good choice of guy to study, Zami. I think we should study them. Okay, wait. Wait. What do you think he's about to do, Zami? I think we might stun heaven, wall up, slide to the switch, close door, and plant the bomb front gen. Stun heaven. Oh, we didn't wall up. How unique. Damn, a deviation. Open door. 
Come on, got a gun. Fuck. Dude, I mean. My god. I'm getting kills. I'm getting. Why does this guy have spikes so often? Look at their team comp. Triple duelist. Yippee. Same with Omen. Last? No. no that's my second game on. We love duelist mains. Good on main behind us. Hold on, mid. Watching here. One more. One tree. Damn it, I'm low-key mad. Just, just now. I'm mad at how consistently this guy slide peeks for timings on fights. And you didn't pick this up. Fight. Okay. Go, go, go. One close. Nice. Just here too. Nah, yeah. That time he stunned heaven differently. Oh, this spot's so good. I need to play here more, too. Running up heaven. Close out round. I get like two or three kills every round. Combined close. He <laughs> does it so no. consistently. <laughs> does it so consistently. They just set up here. Let's reset, 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 reset. Calls fast, reset. Mid one. Alright, loses the round most likely. I think it was A side. He's actually a beast. Oh, oh bad! Oh, bad! Probably. Kind of shocked who you didn't know about the pre slide. Drop a vibe. You play Neon? Drop a VOD. None of you fuckers do this. Ever. None of you. I've coached enough Neons. I've never seen it. In any of your VODs. If this tech is so obvious, why don't you do it? Are you sure Selmir does play Neon? I know! Let me see an Ascent VOD from Selmir. This is six to two. I need a VOD. This guy does it 90% of the time. You doing it on round nine of sunset in this one clip doesn't mean shit to me. Because this guy's a neon main. He does it like 90% of the time because it's that good. You trying it once for fun is it don't count. Don't count of... Like, I'm sure you've done it. I'm sure you know it exists. But if you knew it exists, why why did, wouldn't you do it more? Close, man. Oh, close rest left. in peace, sir. Fucking Razor. Rocket, close right, close right. Rocket, go right! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> No, nah, this guy's actually getting the fucking hardest game of his life in this VOD. I saw some heaven. He's got me on raise on his team. Damn, he brings with an OT. Just one bullet. Tiles. Yeah, heavy. So heavy. They're draining me, man. Bullshit. Yeah. This is frustrating, Zami, because then we go to your VOD and do you even need okay, a professional walk, walk in, coach right now? Because look, all yeah, I did was watch way. that guy play Ascent. Is a is a cyber chip here? One peeking. And oh, now wow. it's like... 
do you really need me right now? Because look at... It's beckoning. Playing go. Just cyber chip here. Cyber chip here. Bad wall, bad wall. Like, we didn't stun yeah. Evan. Hey, wait, almost playing dice. All right, where do we go? Spot. Look, you're you're sliding out to the right. Frank's wall would be a bit tighter so that he doesn't die to the Gen guy. His wall should make sense. It should make sense. Thirty seconds left. left. Just for fun. Thrifty. Ingetka, don't get stabbed. Bad. Gotta go. Coming through! Go, go, go! Oh my. This wall is covering him from the anchors here and here. So that he can close door. His teammates flood out and then he can come up this way and like fight them or some shit. Like whatever. Your wall's too deep. You slid to the right. You stunned nothing. And also bounce stun off right side dice. Watch out. Ooh, I don't this. think it gets deep enough, Johnny. Watch out. It's too shallow. Watch out. Oh, actually, this one was pretty shallow when I threw it. Is it more precise than I think? Yeah, there it is. You want you want it landing back here. Oh, he blinded. Oh, they're all here. They're he all was here. so yeah. on an omen. I... So, no smokes, like no cascades. Oh, oh, yeah, a slide peak. We're just, we're just gonna walk up there. Alright. A slide. I want to see oh. if I can get a pick here. Oh. Oh. He smoked A. Okay. Suffers on B. One market. Oh. Nice. Reloading. Okay, good news, good news, good news. Uh, one market, one market, peeking out market. One more market, one more market. You wanna walk a market? Swap okay. it down mid. Bounce the stone off that wall right there. The thing I don't do on raise that I need to do. Starting market. She just jumps out at us. My ult's not ready. Go, go, go. I'm gonna come through main. We'll re-hit, we'll go through B. Okay, sure. Through B. Alright, let's go let's go mid to B. I'll go B main. So was hit 145. Cypher trip on land. Okay, freeze. How, how are we going to hit B? We're going to head towards Giraffe. We're going to like stun stairs or lane or whatever. Wall up. We're going to try and end Giraffe. And we're just going to help control this part of B first to put the pressure on these guys. Kill any dumb stairs players who think they can swing. Because that's what our hero Frank does. Ever zombie. Okay, I'll let you guys take first. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. There's a cyber trip lane, so he's probably there. stairs. I'll send it. I'm holding CT, I'm holding CT. Market. Oh, main, main, main. Damn, Holy fuck, bro. we waited so long, he flanked behind us. We'll see where we're You got Zamied. Let me draw. Smokes were not I did not know you're going to miss. You gotta let us know. Mark. Tried to. I just. Well, I'm glad we watched more of the Frank VOD because, like, I can tell you what's wrong. You don't got the opening theory, dude. Anyways, good job not alt-tabbing. You say you study... Frank of WM. I believe you. But you don't play the first 10 seconds of the round like Frank WL. Barrier slides. Ooh. 
site execute routing. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, Sammy, you're up good, man. You were plat one. Now you're diamond two. Higher percentile, too. Beast. Okay. This is the same on defense, actually. Uh, I'm going to general. Defense starting positions. Do, 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 do. Okay. Defense match intentions with teammates in the mid round. This will shortcut your decision making process. Don't play to hold a site that your team is retaking. Don't play to retake site that your team is holding. Although you never did this because uh, you're overly aggressive. This was never problem though because on average you are too general if you think a threat is less than 10 percent likely I want to see you truly ignore it altogether. You lose too much time cutting noise and clearing highly unlikely threats. This one is probably the hardest note. This is pretty flowcharty. This is pretty obvious. Like, you know what to look for when you watch Frank now. This is going to be the big one you struggle with the most, I would say. Because determining what's likely or unlikely is sort of subjective. So just know that when we do like your next review, I'm going to be pretty lenient on this. As long as I see you taking some risk. Okay. Uh, I think we can both agree. Clearing this guy is too far right uh when you were doing your flank i think you would agree that that is significantly less than 10 percent likelihood and as long as we don't see anything like this in your next vod you will not strike out on that one got it so i'm not looking for optimal gambling from you i'm not looking for you to go oh they're playing 2-2 two -two, b main tiles and their sentinel was spotted B main. So, and he was historically the lurker. And so the third one must be B main. And so I can, I'm not looking for that. I don't need you to draw these crazy accurate conclusions and take these highly complex gambles. I won't give you a strike if you miss these, but when you're flanking through spawn and you clear this guy, I'm going to insta strike you out next VOD. You got it? I will be lenient on this next VOD. But if you do anything truly egregious, it will be an instant strikeout. I think that's fair. So in your next VOD, the only thing that would have been a strike would have been this round where you cleared this guy. Um, well, it would have been two strikes because you came forward and cleared this guy too. So both of those would have been an instant strikeout. So we're just trying to cut this very small insecurity from your gameplay. You got me? Otherwise, just copy Frank. More barrier slides. Better routing. Better toppings. Frank FWM. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Thank you for the VOD, Zami. Uh, take the part that resonated the most with you, Zami, and put that in the keep to go up on YouTube. You pick the intro because it was your VOD. Yeah, put Frank on the pros to watch for each agent. That guy's actually a beast. Like, easily. Oh, we're playing a set right now. This guy's a beast. So why is he doing that if we've never fought it before? Weird. 
You're playing Neon right now. That's weird. I don't know what the thought process was going into that round playing there, but. Can we be? I guess I got played. I'm trying to do what I can. I guess. Yup. Yup, one more. Yup. One enemy remaining. Spike down, B. Probably laying, get the turret out. Yeah, he's playing Shut Neon. Damn, he's got triple duelist again. Shut up. <laughs> Man, say you're a beast. Okay, let's go. Appreciate the hooch. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. I can't have chatters going into his chat while I'm watching him like that. That's weird. That's weird behavior. I don't want to talk. I like to. I like to live under my rock. I'm ending early. I'm tired from all the watch partying. Thank you for showing up, chat. Hope you enjoyed the low elo coaching, the VOD review. We're going to Frank. I'm going to go play my raise ranked. I got to practice. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you all tomorrow. Peace out. Peace out.